Hello chat. How are you doing today? It's the Fire Emblem 9 Path of Ignorance playthrough finale. Hope you're all ready to have a good time because I am ready to have a good time. And with me, ready to have a good time, is Mr. Official Raisins. How are you doing today? Doing good. I've been upgraded from original to official. Ah, yes. I've also been put off of mute. <laughs> It was only for a little bit. Come on, I even warned you. I, even said, I missed it though. Here's I your little it. toy. It's gonna be in a corner for a little bit. It's gonna be muted for like five seconds while I have desktop audio on. I uh, know. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, we're in battle preps right here. We're gonna go back to the base for a little bit for our usual last minute preps segment. But most of the preparations have been done. Uh, hopefully, everyone who is here makes it through the final chapter. It'd be quite a shame if someone died here. Uh, but I do have some death report. I hope I got them all. I think I got them all. Uh, I got Mist, Lucia, Tanith, Raisin, Tormod. I forgot to ask you, Raisins. I don't think anyone's missing from this list, right? This is it, uh, I think? In the... Let's see, this list you gave me here in our DMs, or...? Oh, it's Mist, Lucia, Tanith, Raisin, and Tormod. That's what I got mm. right now. I wonder if someone's missing. Maybe chat, maybe chat knows. Let me just get it. I think those are all the deaths. You know what? Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get any more deaths. I don't need my death counter ready. I'm just not gonna get it ready at all. Come, Come on. on, yeah, get out of here. Oh, the tenth <laughs> reinforcements? You're right. <laughs> We're gonna video again. All oh, yes. <laughs> all the small pegasi. So transfer bonuses for Har. Eh, doubtful that he'll make it somehow. Uh, we do have some transfers to talk about, but let me go back to the base and we'll, we'll get it right onto that. So Brazis and I discussed this uh, quite a bit, and I am super OCD about wanting to end every single Path of Radiance playthrough as if I'm doing transfers. Mm -hmm. So, even if I'm never using these, I just want to do it. So, let's look at the prospects right here. I think we kind of did it last a uh, little bit of the last episode, uh, but a brief recap is Boyd is very close. I think if you just use him a couple times in the play chapter itself, he'll get there. Oscar's too far away. Jill's probably too far away. Shinon, I don't care how far away he is. He needs to be there. He needs to make it. Uh, Soranika staff spams. He'll probably make it. Yeah, I guess the magic transfer is amazing. He has 20 yeah. magic. It's so funny. Look at his look at his inventory right here. I gave him the rune sword because I'm just confident he'll be able to use it better than Ragnar. There's gonna be a few enemies who are gonna have more might with rune sword, right? Mm -hmm. Not that we can not that we can ever know. <laughs> we'll never know. Trust. Maybe the dragons, you know? <laughs> uh, I mean, actually, maybe to be honest, the dragons, oh yeah, MG like <laughs> more like magic card Ike. <laughs> Anyway, Demon card Ike. You only got, I think you got one Spirit Dust in the whole playthrough, I'm pretty sure. Maybe two, but I think it's one. Stupid, stupid Ike. Uh, anyway, Soren Staff Spam. Tatiana can probably get there, depending on how much we have left. Uh, after Bex being other units, I think I'll get her there. Uh, Har can't make it realistically, and he doesn't transfer a whole lot anyway. Uh, yeah, Largo, he'll right. transfer Nihil, like Raisin said. Uh, this is still my favorite joke of the whole Let's Play, that Raisin... <laughs> Raisin's <laughs> 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 Um... Because, like, some people think, to this day, that Largo, tra Largo transfers stats to Khalil, but he doesn't. Like, he just doesn't. So somehow Wait, this actually happened. he doesn't? He, he doesn't. As far as I, I know, I haven't confirmed it myself, but... I thought it was, like... Someone tested it, I swear to God. When Khalil gets the transfers, she takes, like, the stuff from Largo and the stuff from Khalil, but they won't stack. There's, you know? like, a lot of different rumors the way that works out, but, yeah, okay. like Agro said, it's, uh... If Agro says it's not true, then I... Pretty sure it's not true. I, tr I trust Agro. Yeah, I'll, I'll, for I'll try. I mean, I don't have Khalil transfer, so I can't extensively transfer. Uh, check it, and I also don't want to put five levels into <laughs> into yeah, Largo and finally just transfer anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, Jeffrey wanna... can also make it if we want him to, because he has Paragon. So maybe him. Uh, he's effectively at level like seventeen ish, something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll start. We'll start with Shinon. We'll start with Shinon getting him to nineteen. I think it's the good benchmark for him. Do you understand I what so, we yeah. just said? I mean, are you familiar with transfers at all? If not, you just look them up on Strands Force. So you'll be good. Yeah, Here transfers go. are... Ooh, ooh, we're getting there. We're getting there. He is so ooh. close to capping defense. It's insane. <laughs> you can like, get it. With, like, plus two level. defense shit on massive. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get another one. I mean, I should give him like the, much... the soldier band, really, if I want that. But screw it. We don't need bands yeah, how here. Much, how much backs do we even have mm -hmm. right now? Mm -hmm. Like, enough for seven levels, probably? Ooh. Okay, we cap skill. Ooh, okay, ooh, we're gonna oh, get speed too. We're gonna get speed too. Watch, he's gonna get speed. I think should be one off. His cap is twenty eight. at speed. We have like quite a few levels left. I think we have. Ooh, we're actually kind of cutting it kind of close. Do we? Do we give him another like, one? It's four hundred. Four levels. We need like oh. we need like a lot more entertaining if we do this. 
I mean... But like, getting two levels on Shinan is going to be such a pain though, because the levels are can, not that high level. Wait, what's, what's Sartini at right now? What's Sartini like at? Like, 16? Basically? Oh, this is, that's fine, come on, we'll be able to do it. Like, we, okay. we got a whole map as well, like, okay. come on, we okay. can do this. Okay, 19 Shinan. Yes, the defense archer. Let's it's better to Shinan. just know the defense. He's got mad defense in Radiant uh. Oh, come on! Step me knees okay, out. Well, cap speed is nice, though. So. Step me knees out for defense. Is he? Hold on a sec. Let me check the cap. Yeah. For anyone asking about Radiant Dawn, you'll know at the end of the up. at the end of the chapter. You'll know at the end of the chapter. Ah. Uh, is it, is it oh, 25? Wait, no. Hope not. Hope not. Okay. Well. Sniper. Defense 25. No. She no. <laughs> I mean, she now can't disappoint me anymore after this performance is played through. I don't have a I don't have F. a stat booster for him. I'm afraid. Let's yeah. see Titania. She has a Night Ward up. Calm down, Dolphin. I'm just trying to back my Titania whoa, out here. Whoa, whoa. Are you okay? Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, Sorry. I better Sorry. save my game now. I'm, I'm, yeah, now hold on. Now it scared me. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm also and, on the uh, computer that has like more crashes than the other ones, so I'm worried. Yeah. Alright, he's saving. Alright, Titania. Uh, All right. Night Ward go. Cap speed, please. We, we're looking for speed cap. To yeah, be honest, that's, like, that's even awesome if you move. only transfer speed, it's like fine. Well, I'll about that. What? <laughs> about that. <laughs> <laughs> Expertly dodged all the speed. <laughs> I will try to make safe states. I think I have the key still bound. Okay, we have enough levels to get our like to 18, I think. Please. <laughs> one more. Let's Please. go. I think she only needs two points. Maybe even one point. Is the Night Ward equipped? She about to cap skill, but not speed. Very cool. Is it? Come on. Alright, one more. I got one more in the tank for Titania. Please. Come on. Don't be like Please. this game. Okay, 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 okay. okay. That's, uh, that's so acceptable. one out of two, I think, is what she needs. It is equipped, I, yeah. I mean, she has plus think. two on defense and res. Yeah. Of course it's equipped. Oh, yeah, okay. That's the yeah. That's the hint. Hmm. Uh -huh. Well, we have enough for one more level on Titania. And uh, I think Boyd will make it no matter what, because he's that good. So, so Boyd is three away from his speed cap, and there is a speed wing on the map. Yeah, but so he has to gain we speed. Can, yeah. yeah, let's give him a We band. can just keep an eye. Let's give him a band just in case when he's about to level up. Uh, I'm, I'll probably forget it, but you know, I think this is speed. Uh, the archer band. I don't know. I'm ignorant. Is it skill? I think it's skill. It's, isn't it like skill speed? It's usually two stats, right? Uh, I know mage band is only one stat. Well, yeah, but that's but... the exception. I mean, thief band definitely mm. is speed. <laughs> oh, definitely. He's had that yeah. like half for the entire playthrough, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I mean, it's, it's this boy. Like, how is he not going to catch speed, right? Oh, yeah, the ignorant band. And we can't read it. <laughs> uh huh. It's true. Okay, so we have how much left? We have. We can give her. We can get her to nineteen, I guess. That's probably safe. The, Just do, and then yeah, we, yeah. Let's let's do that. Nineteen, it is. I mean, we, it's gonna be harder to level cap Jeffrey, but like, yeah. What a tragedy! That's not happening. You know, that's come not on. Happening. Happens. Oh, all right, all right, all right. There right, we 27. go. We, we got, got it. We got it. Okay, secured. So now we just need secured. to cap level because if you, if you don't have level twenty, you don't get transfers anyway. It's very silly on a hard mode. You okay. always have your OCD. It's like, what if, what if this is the file that just has the nuts transfers? You right. So. <laughs> I mean, I can always download the nuts transfers anyway. Uh, That's true. Just Jill, download the speed your own file. Jill is never getting uh, missed because she's dead. So we'll just do this. Get her B. I mean, we might as well get a get a get a gotcha in here. Mm -hmm. And get all the supports in. Yeah, get all the supports. <laughs> get three supports on him that don't do anything. This one. Don't deploy him. Are we actually are we deploying Tarnay or no? Mm, we have to deploy Tarnay, yeah. We could do on. Jeffrey Alencia. I think that matters. Yeah, the Alencia. Wait, is Alencia on the map or no? No, Anna is forced deployed, not Alencia. Oh, okay. I, no, I realized earlier. Other... I, was like, I was about to deploy Alencia. I was like, wait, you're not forced. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> okay, that's that. And now all that's left, chat, is we already know, which is forging. Uh, I have one forge. Submitted by someone who's already got a forge into the playthrough, and I'm very sorry for everyone who submitted one but didn't get it. But I promise I'll make it up to you. But this forge name is so good that I didn't want to deprive you guys of it. Plus, I have so much money that I might as well let's make a thunder because you know we, we're over against these dragons right here. Uh, actually, yeah, well, I'll cheat and make it a, make it a thunder one. It was originally supposed to be. You know, we can spend our gold here, right? Like, come on, let's go. All right. All the forges, all the forges, all the forges, every all single them. one of them. All the forges. Okay, glad What's I have this cursor for this one. This one is submitted by CJ, uh, who also submitted the Blandax, but this is an amazing name. I think I, mm -hmm. I think I DM'd it to you, Raisins, but the chat 
is about to yeah, be raised by the Fimble Better. The Fimble Better. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. It's so stupid. It's Fimble Better too. Yeah, it's, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> Spend all the money in Path of Radiance challenge for sure. Challenge. I mean, if you buy like a bunch of elixirs at the end, it's doable, uh -huh. but you know. It is ice, but I don't have ice. Like the closest thing I have is wind, which is cringe. Is I mean, it's more expensive and less powerful. Tone. Don't yeah. we? We have the blizzard tone, but I mean, you can't forge that, of course. Uh, yeah, I have it technically. Yeah, sure, but like bolting is better against the dragons. So, I'm gonna sword is not with thunder mage. I'm afraid. Oh no! Yeah, I, well, he's got C everything. So, uh huh. Coin transfers. I'm curious too, actually, about coin transfers. I have so much shit lying around. Holy crap! You know what? Why don't you have it, pure water? Oh, just because you have one. Hold up. You have one in the cowboy? They're already on good units. Oh, yeah, hold right. Up. Okay, never mind. Wait. No, 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 what do you mean? He is good. He's so good. Well, oh. I mean other good units. Oh, fair, 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 fair. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Largo already has Nihil. We could probably keep that because there's some skill enemies in this chapter. I don't want to give it a Nihil on him. I have like a... Yeah. I have a stupid ass... Uh, <laughs> this here if we want it. <laughs> Wait, a cult? Yes. <laughs> a cult, a cult? <laughs> I like. I think everyone else I'm using is literally full, so might as well give a cult to uh, Reese, I guess. <laughs> Flare Reese. Flare Reese. Do we yes. do it, chat? What do you say? I think we do it. What does the skill even do anyway? It's. It's uh, like. It's. It's good. Let me tell you, it's, it's amazing. It's Luna. <laughs> it's That's Luna it, for it's Res, Luna. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's the same as in like. Radiant Dawn, except it doesn't do triple damage, so it's awful. <laughs> I thought in Radiant Dawn, it's like Corona for Saints. I don't think it's Corona, or is, is that just Makaya? Uh, Corona is on Light Sages, but Flare is on all the mages. So I think if it was Radiant Dawn, then Reese would get Corona here. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to remember like what uh, that one boss has. I mean, I trust you're correct. I trust you're correct. Mm -hmm. um, you get corona. Yeah, I know, right? A very cursed sentence right there. I, like the moment that COVID became big, I was like, "Oh God!" We get so many jokes and like rain dawn and stuff. So many, yeah. Let me just finish these up. They don't matter, but like nothing matters. You got to transfer the supports. Yeah, actually, well, the, there are the yeah they bond exist, support transfers right? just for A, yeah. I think, right? You, like, if you have like A, you get like a bond support, I think. We're a little late on that, I feel. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a smidge. It's gonna fill them just to make the thing no longer be green, like Bernalf. Leith, I guess. Here you go. We've been hoarding supports. We've been hoarding supports. <laughs> like, honestly, I've been screwed over by, like, accidentally activating supports that I didn't need. I've had to, like, kill units and Iron Man's and everything to get rid of them. Like, remember, like, killing Lance in FE6? Because yeah. he had support with Roy or <laughs> well, you Alan. don't have to do that. You get to do that. Yeah, so, I mean... Free like, up the space. We, we got to mess around with Fear and her crit chance with the Killing Edge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it makes sense that Claire should get Corona. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> The front line, the front line clerics getting Corona. That's that's sad. This, this went a direction I was not ready for, but here we are. All right. Yeah, I think I like the name COVID better because it sounds more professional. It sounds more respectful somehow. I don't know. I can't explain it. Um, I'll just get a little bit to. Well, it's more specific too because there's like more than one coronavirus, right? Yeah. Like SARS is a coronavirus. Yeah. So. Oh, I should give Nightboard. Whoops. Joffrey, I believe in you. Doesn't matter. Yo, look at the, look at all this back stuff matters. He goes so fast, damn. Maybe you can get there. Last priority though. Last priority. When I ruined the beer, I. I it actually did. It hurt their it, it hurt their finances. Yeah, like, it did. Like initially, right? I think it went greatly. back up later, right? And then I guess so. I think some people must have bought them as a meme. I don't know how many of them did, but some of them must have. A few people, I remember. A uh, fair few people. Being uh -huh. in the Walmart. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, raisins. Our Stefan is base level, and he said in his unit review that he is base. His bases are good for end game, so we're gonna test that theory out here. All right, you know what? <laughs> Fine. But I, you gotta trust. <laughs> I trust. I believe. Okay, last time I'm saving in this. Let's basically an Iron Man playthrough. Uh, chat. Last chance to tell me if the sound is good. If it's not good, well, I have to restart the whole stream. Yeah, these. Uh, the whole actually the whole run through. Yeah, we gotta the whole, the whole go thing. back to making YouTube videos. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, she actually has dialogue when she's like not deployed. That's cool. Goodbye. Okay. Sounds See good. You. All right, great. Here we go. All right, chat. So our goal is feed Titania and be ignorant. Those are compatible goals, I'm sure. Feed Titania. Yeah. Feed Boyd. Yeah, and feed um, Joffrey, I guess. Uh, we could go in there with the cat and do the 
the Bagu's Axe, but I think it's better to just like, fight some Paladins here, maybe get a crit somewhere, use his pure water to stay safe. Block the cat with someone else. Maybe you can kill the cat with uh, Shinon. With the double bow. these guys. I think Shinon would really enjoy that. I think he would. So. In fact, I think he would enjoy the Lagu's bow as well. Which he doesn't have. Okay. It's on the Joffrey. But does he have range. does he have two, three, and four range? Uh he doesn't have three range because he no longer has a longbow, which I hammered, remember. <laughs> so oh, I know why right, he has right. why he doesn't have one. <laughs> the bow smileys. I think double bow would not kill, so I'm gonna go for a bravish bow here. Let's give it this cat. And I, I see every single go. person who plays this map go through the middle, and I like to spice things up. So I will not go through the middle initially. I'm gonna go we'll, through the sides. We'll leave the middle unoccupied. Yeah. Because, like, I don't need to go there, right? Like, come on, why would I go to a part where, where bolting is? By the way, funniest thing I ever saw, someone in my v, in my Patreon VC was playing this chapter on his Iron Man. He was almost done, you know, final chapter. And he brought Alincia, rescued raisin, uh, raisins, yeah, rescued raisins after he, yeah. like, danced. And she got doubled and died to the bolting. <laughs> oh, no, that's not a game over, is it? It is. <laughs> Let's oh, no. game over. <laughs> oh, no, bro. <laughs> Rizza Fortify? Yeah, in fact, in fact, I almost forgot. Um, I have a, I have a hammer and I need to make uh, right here. I'm gonna hammer the Brave Axe again. Because <laughs> I want it to be full here. Yummy. Yeah, that was a very Eats dead one. Nom, 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 nom. Now I would like Boyd to kill that Tiger over there. Because uh, that one's gonna kill my Reese if I don't block him or kill him. So that will be his first task. And he's on the Goose Guard, so uh, he doesn't have the thing. Maybe I should chip him with uh, Joffrey first. Just to make sure. Uh, just to get some extra XP. We got the Laguz bow, right? We might as well use it. Yeah. There's a lot of Laguz on this map. They're like Bro, he's actually kind of deadly. <laughs> okay. I reckon he can take some of these hits. I think from here, you can definitely take it. He's uh, he's Boyd after all. You got this, buddy. Kid our axe. Okay. I was, I'm not going to lie. I was ready to YouTube fake react when he didn't die. Because these tigers, I remember them being very bulky. And yeah. for you guys, I think it's been like less than a week since I played. But for me, it's been like two weeks ish. Yeah, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. All right, Trinos we completely in lost all intuition. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Like this, this, these are you have to play off of vibes and intuition when you do these. And now suddenly there is no more any of that. Uh, let's keep you company no more. here. No more vibes, Mecca. I need you to have no mood right now. No yeah. mood. No Mo mood. Moods are banned. That's a mood. Mo yeah. What? <laughs> Universe right. just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rune sword. Let's see if Steve in. Rune St sword. Ike. Yeah. Do, do you know if this sage moves? Because it, it looks like he does. It the he might be, maybe can bait him down and here? suicide heart into him or something. <laughs> yeah, bait him onto like Ina. Like mm -hmm. I think that'd be. Oh yeah. Ina has. It's weak to bolting, right? I don't remember what he has yes. though. I don't remember if he has. I don't actually remember else. either. Bolting meteor. Yeah. The other reason I don't want to go through center is the sleep staff guy, but he doesn't have that much range, so maybe I'm like being too chicken right now. Yeah. Maybe we're, we're about to find out like where they go. Do we have any restore staves or Ashra staff? Or... I have several staves, in fact, on my units that I should have traded around a little bit more diligently. I think we have Ashra and Riss, I think, right? Yeah, I have. I think Riz had the hammer. And now he needs to like trade for something else off of Ike, or I think I have one on. I'm not allowed to strike any like that. I'm supposed to like go like, uh, you know, trade. <laughs> no cheating allowed. Yeah, no. That'll be fine. Oh, what do they got? Here. Also weak to, yeah, weak to bow guys. I think there's like a bow paladin or two in here. Soren goes with Ike somewhere. Okay, this should be an all right split. Let's see if the uh, bolting stage goes for like, uh, it's gonna have to go for Largo if he wants to have a piece of someone. Well, that is all the units. Let's do animations on for an path range enemy phase. This can't go wrong, right? That's right. This Shinon. Is this a setup to an elaborate these notch joke? I bet it is. I, You know what? Yes, I do like this Shinon. This is an amazing Shinon. Although, kind of wish he had, you know, what's it called? Strength? <laughs> like, max strength. But other than that, you By know, the way, perfect. Did Boyd just dodge a cat? I remember these guys being, like, insanely accurate. Well, it is Boyd. The man with, like, a million speed. But you are right. I think he did dodge a cat there. Because he had, I think he got hit by the previous one, and now this one mm -hmm. didn't do damage to him. So there's only one explanation. Either he tinked the cat or he dodged the cat. And one of these is more likely than the other, but I'm not sure which. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, the goose slayer. Double bow shoot. Oh, right, look at, right. Look how he, tiny he this little bow. sword is. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> this is a little like goose slayer. He's, he's the stab like, in between the hill is like, really big. Yeah. Between the little hairs. How is this her. supposed to be a. Is it like a little claw trimmer or something? <laughs> 
These fools are about to put Toronto into resolve range. Oh no, don't do it. Max strength and archers don't go together. What about Project Ember Dorothy? Checkmate, Rush Studios. True. Oh, wait, not Rush Studios, uh, Alejandro. Alejandro. What a blade paladin in my final chapter. Don't you know that swords fall off? Ooh, goodbye. Yeah, clearly, uh, <laughs> this is living proof of it. Mm -hmm. I think. Submit this to Serena's forest forums. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so far the evidence points that like enemies give like 16 to 19 points of XP. So everyone who's level 19 needs five or more kills, like six kills, let's say, to get to 20. Yeah, yeah. And six boys already at two, so we are on on track. We are on track. We're making our way there. Yeah. Oh, these chips too. Like chip is yeah, just chip eight is experience good. right now. Yeah, chip is like you know you get your last kill. Mm -hmm. Doing it live is like most ignorant. Yeah, that way you guys get to be ignorant with me. It's great. You also get to check that I don't cheat. Oop. 25, there we go. This is they also don't load save states, yeah. <laughs> I swear, I have never used a save state except for when the, when the game crashed. This whole playthrough. I, like, this whole, it's true. I will happily admit, I use save states all the time when I play Fire Emblem casually and for like, let's play recordings that aren't Iron Man based. Uh, for Iron Man's, I've never used a save state. Uh, except like, if it's like, um, oh shit, these wires aren't be moving. Like Why if there's like an actual crash, yeah. Yeah, if there's an actual crash, or like Lin Let's Play, for example, I use save states a couple times to be like, not having to replay a whole physics chapter. I think everyone would understand that. Okay. But that also wasn't an Iron Man. Like, no, it we, wasn't. We, we made no promise about yeah, that. Yeah, I made no promise. Is Lin good with save states? That was the whole premise of the, of the playthrough, right? <laughs> <laughs> is, Lin, is Lin good <laughs> when you could just reset the map? I think I'll move Ike first, because he is... Uh... Oh, we should rune sort something, and then kill it yes. with like Joffrey. We should we should do a test. Let's uh, yeah. see how much damage the rune sword does, Let's and then we'll see how much damage the Ragnell does. Mm -hmm. The thing with safe states is you, it's really hard to safe state a little bit. You either oh he's gonna kill this guy. What the heck, Ike? Why are you so good? That was what twenty four <laughs> damage? Yeah. Yeah, this guy's dead. <laughs> no, I got hit. Well, good thing I have the healing on me. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I gotta stay out of Wrath Resolve range. Yeah. <laughs> test successful. Test still still successfully. Enemy died. <laughs> Show racing quote with Ashnar. Didn't I do that for the Iron Man? Like the actual Iron Man? Oh, I don't remember how low this guy is, but I'm pretty sure Joffrey with his dinky ass strength is not going to kill him. I'm going to kill an enemy with Boyd here because enemies scare me. I think this might be one of those enemies with skills. The, the It's like a Deadeye Sniper somewhere, I think. Yes, there's a Deadeye Sniper. There's like a Astra Swordmaster up here on the right side too, I think. Yeah, maybe he's already here. Was that Swordmaster here? I saw like two generals and a Paladin or something? Same so. sort for ruining Wrath Resolve, so it's true. Okay. Oh, yeah, someone was counting Wrath uh, or um, Colossus. Bro. Colossus, bro. I yeah. think it was Kirby Master. Yeah, I think it was him too. Okay, so now Ike is here. I guess if I want like support for Soren, I have to go here. So here you go, Soren. Have a kill. All right. Have this one. Let's put the, the Fimble better to use. Oh, we never unlocked Rex Vault, did we? We're nowhere close. We're like secret. No, we were very far off. I do have one Armed Skull lying around, so I could have maybe done it, but... I kind of like put them both in the inventory and then. <laughs> I care so little that I just always forget about these kind of things. It's like, yeah. it's something that I'm used to arguing against being relevant, <laughs> basically. It's okay. like, no, but you forgot this thing. It's like, yeah, I did forget, and I would like to keep that that way. Thank you. Ru Rune Sword rank is like the doubling auras of Path of Radiance, you know? People I think like doubling auras is better. <laughs> <laughs> doubling know, auras has like legit utility because that temper is actually kind of hard. I, guess, I mean, I guess so. Hello, Gavin. How's it going? But it's yeah. like, people will will evaluate an entire run based off of like how many of your units could double R's. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, like, that is true. It's like, I've also played like 50 hours of run before this, guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what about any of that? Like I put it like as hours of run. Oh, he's going to miss the kill by one, I think. Cool. Oh, free. Thank you for the spear. We're just chipping. Oh, nice one. That was relevant. <laughs> relevant one one damage crit. Rescued. Possibly legit. Okay, this is he might get there. He gets like half a level because he's under leveled and has Sparagon. It's not helping. There we go. It's okay. No, we're not. Strength this... or speed would be so welcome on him. Give up transfers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Maybe if I have Blood Tide active, this would be different. Oh true. I'm not gonna lie, I think that sometimes when I have Eda and Path of Radiance, I'm like, yo, it's massive. Uh. Uh. Can, can he not kill from here? Yeah. 
He just, wait, he just takes no damage? What a beefcake. <laughs> and 24 defense, Oscar. He's kind of he's kind of buff. All right, let's block off Sorn, I guess. Do you think Enna can kill from here? That from here? I yeah. mean, it is one range, so she can at least attack. Well, yeah, I was thinking about the damage, but you know what? Let's just go for it. Yeah. Oh, Sneeze cool. on a mana. Oh, come on. She can do it. Get Easy. out of here if you think no. Not She's demi banded, right? Yeah. She is. Okay. I was like, in my preps, I was like, yo, who is gonna carry the demi band for me? Gonna, do I bring like Renolf or Mordecai? And then I was like, oh, and I actually already has it and has better stats than most of these units. Let's go. Yeah, I know. We don't have any more, uh, what's it called, the goose stone? Or... I probably have some hoarding around somewhere. <laughs> I think so. I can't remember exactly how much gauge she starts at. I do remember uh, whenever it was oh, like yes, the draft race. I was wrong. Oh, the I lied to you. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. There you go. I won't do it again. Two right. to four range is outdated. We want two comma three comma four range. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the most overkill paladin kill he's gotten so far. There you go. Could definitely get this one. He's already level 20, or is he... Yeah, 19. wait, no. He's his okay. first, this is his second kill. This is his second turn, second kill. It's easy, for, for him, it's easy to remember how many kills he's gotten. There you go, just check the turn. Oh, we can't yeah. do that. <laughs> just check the turn. Yeah, even that is impossible. <laughs> yeah. I will, like, toss a thing at this guy. I just to... Go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just because, like, some steep I don't hand care propaganda, if he gets, right? he gets or not. You go. Well, I picked the guy with a bow. I still can't tell bow paladins from anything else, and it's a, it's a disease, I tell you. No boys allowed, and ask the solo no Ashnard. That sounds like a horrible thing. I, people do like girls only runs a lot. Um, I think that's yeah. when I can get the far guy, but I can't. You know, get... soloing Ashnard is like possible. The far guy, the Fargo. Uh, actually, what we can do is this. I'm gonna see if I can get both kills this time. I'm gonna be greedy. Mm -hmm. Wait, can Rex flame damage him? There's no way. Wait, damage Ashnard, what? that is. I start hell's no way. Is Rex no, not in this game, here. is it? It's uh, Rex Flame. Yeah, Rex Flame. Or, what the hell? Oh, just I think there's double. I forgot. Oh yeah, Rex Flame. Yeah. Oof. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna get there anyway. So let's just go with the right. end game ready, Stefan. Stefan propaganda. Here it comes. We're gonna show it. Goodbye. What I tell you. <laughs> This is clearly representative of his average performance. <laughs> For sure. I mean, he crit a guy on low health with uh, question mark, question mark, question mark damage. Okay, yeah. But if he levels up stats, he's no longer at his bases. Yeah, shit. Okay, it's ruined. we can we no longer evaluate oh. whether his bases. Our, our test is no longer legit. Yeah. All right, hopefully she doubles here. It'll forever be a mystery. We will never know. Yeah, the five lock is interesting, especially because this game doesn't have like a hop on guard, so. Where's endgame Jill? I think usually I favor Jill, or someone else favors Jill, so she looks better than she is, because her speed is like right on average, I think. Yeah, this is like. No Least favors Jill, Jill versus most of you. Know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Least favored. Which is oh, lowest cat. investment horror. Kitty. All right. During this enemy phase, I will actually be right back. Give me like a minute and a half. Sure, no worries. I, I think I can make a video on my own reason, so it'll be fine. What, you killed him with ether? You lucky bastard, Ninja. You lucky bastard. I got zero ethers and I'm still salty. Zero ethers. I'm so mad. Please don't die, Titania. I love you. Crit. Okay, that's fine. Wait, did that guy just puffies me? Did I see that right? Or is it, was it just the normal animation? I feel like I just saw a puffies, but I'm not sure about it. Or like an Aegis or whatever these Palins have. Come here, Pallies. What are you going for, Stefan? Watch him get crit here, by a short axe of all things. Corrosion? Oh, was that cancel? <laughs> that is so useless. Oh, was that her cancel? Right, she has that. <laughs> I forgot she had that because it doesn't matter ever. <laughs> like, why can't you cancel on your second attack? That's really so useless. Like, what's a brave hit? I get it, but what the hell? XP. I think I still needs like three kills. <coughs> oh, one of these has Astra. We'll never know which though. There's no way to find out. Let's put Oscar in a range and he'll survive, I'm sure. Alright, uh, first priority gets Shinana kill. Because uh, that's what he do. One of these is at like... As low promised. HP. One of them is not. Oh, you were, you were actually back from the B-Rack back. In game Wait, mode. really? Alright, Shinana. Yeah, no, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna be right, that's it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be right. <laughs> all the time. All the time. Are you winning? So far I am. 
kill it. Whoa, we killed the brave sword guy. There's like a bunch of braves on this map, right? Yeah, or is it I, just I, one of each brave. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that might be the right the right amount. You might be correct on that one. I will hopefully kill this one. I think he's on low, but I'm not sure. If only there was a unit that sure. never won on anything that could like be used to check that. You could do Stefan, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Stefan sometimes just one rounds people. That's what he do. Well, that's the thing, though. You know, we can mm. we we either know how much HP they have or they're dead, which is also true for every <laughs> other unit. <but> yes. <laughs> I was about to bring up this, this little factoid. Yes. Okay, let me see how much harder this guy, and maybe I'll kill him with Titania. There you go. Oh, oh. I well, guess I you're right. We do need to funnel kills to Titania. I forgot yeah. about this objective. He needs like three or so. It's fine. One. Two. Two. Watch, watch how to quadruple this paladin. Uh, uh, uh. Does he do it? <laughs> nice. No, but he does level up. Thank you. Speed. Yay. Yeah, no. 17 speed. Get out of here. There's no way. <laughs> what is that fast? I'm surprised that paladin doesn't double him. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a slug in this game. Kind of a slug a bug. Okay, I'll put her in range of this cat with Leku's X equipped. She's a little low. Maybe I should physic her or something. I think I sent all my healers to the other side, but Reese might have it. Oh, actually, she's, oh, 32 is fine. 32 is fine. Yeah, 30, 32 is more than enough. Yeah. If she got hit by this guy, then like maybe there'd be some doubt. But mm -hmm. and we've already established that the siege temp sage doesn't move at all, right? Yeah, I think I think he could reach Largo last turn. And he just didn't do it. He's like, nah, I don't, I don't get paid he, enough for this shit. He's just chilling. Uh huh. He doesn't get shoved by the cats. I don't trust that. So, this this so, warrior imagine, right here. You think uh, I will kill him with the rune? <laughs> with the rune sword? Uh, I'll just weaken with Torio. Get him. Uh, maybe not. Weaken him. Weaken with the rune sword. Good yeah. joke. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, and now we can. Joffrey. Oh wait, you don't breathe. You don't breathe at two range in this game. Not, not any, uh, not yet. I know. I want like Oscar and Ike like around here to take on all these stupid swordmasters with mm -hmm. Astra. But if I use the no resets, that does like no damage to anything. I probably shouldn't. It's no, kind of fun. I mean, we, we should way. probably save Reese until the end, to like in case we need to physic somebody. Yeah, and the thing is, I need to like start moving Reese towards the other sides because they have no healer right now, and Sora needs to stay here to heal. So I need someone to mm. weaken this warrior, but Void can't do weakening; it's not in his full cab. Maybe just hit him up close with the uh, Torino and go from there. That's not what he does. Steel sword. I mean, we do still need to give Void some levels though. So like, yeah, he is like halfway through though. Whoa! He has vantage. <laughs> he has vantage. <laughs> this guy has vantage. Really mattered here too. <laughs> okay, you know what? Um... Ah, I'm so conflicted. I'm so conflicted. No resets. Let's go. No resets. I'm, I'm not. I don't fear it. There's no way he has a tomahawk too. No resets. He has flare too. Remember that. Oh God! I did nothing. <laughs> It's nothing. <laughs> Did nothing. Everyone Polk. does nothing. There you go. It's like what seven damage. Yeah, we're kind of far off. I'm being so greedy with this guy right now. Like, All right. just you know trying what? to. If maybe if Joffrey doesn't get it, we just finish with sword or something. I think so. Yeah. yeah like, okay, Joffrey, just get your chip XP. You'll be fine. Is this gonna be Brave Lance Jeffrey or nah nah? Uh, uh, it would be Heal XP for Sword, I guess. Worst case scenario. Oh, he doesn't have Brave Lance on him. He needs to kill Lance, which I mean, technically that still has potential to kill. He uses Steel Axe, I think. This should if be it, safe. If a Killer Lance crits once, it is much, it is as much damage as a Brave Lance. And a that's boom, true. we get crit. Holy crap, that's a lot of... Hey, we got it. Goodbye. It's such an extra animation. <laughs> Always extra. Alright. Almost there. Yeah, he doesn't have Colossus, right? 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 <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, here you go, buddy. Have some health. Alright, I'll kill this guy with Boyd. From range. The Get Wyvern the can't reach. Right? So yeah, he can reach Storm, but who cares? And we'll number five Slayer this guy. Extra. Yeah, Astra Extra. for Slayer. Extra. Yeah. Oh, speaking of. Wow. I think Thank you, Colossus. I think someone mathed it out that like Colossus can only ever do like 14 extra damage because it's like your strength versus theirs or something, or like your 1.25. Times your strength damage. Okay, what is level cap now? This, yeah, it's yeah. like it, no! no, no, my no! speed, my speed transfer. No, <laughs> boy. All right, you were the chosen one. <laughs> we're supposed to cap speed, not ignore it. 
<laughs> well, well, break then. ballads to the transfers. <laughs> Not leave them in strength and skill. <laughs> <laughs> saddest, saddest moments. To afford speed wings. I know Bryce drops. We needed that speed wing to cap him and yeah, we, at level yeah, up. Yeah, he's, he's we needed three both. off. <laughs> we needed, we, we needed both. all of it. It was all needed. Didn't equip Thief Band? You are correct. That was my fault. I should have equipped that, Thief that's Band. That's clearly the mistake of that the is playthrough. On me. That, that's the, that 5% would have saved it, for sure. The blunder of the century. Reset the whole run, guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, don't we, I did stuff on the other side. Now I forgot if I weakened this guy, but I'm pretty sure I weakened this guy for Jill. So let's do it. I think I think the Tania hit this guy, I think. Uh, but let's, let's gamble anyway. Yeah, I wonder Stupid. if anyone's going to use the Speed Wing now. Because like, I think unless Jill or like Joffrey, maybe? Joffrey doesn't uh, have the Night Ward, so he might not reach like the speed cap. But it looks like this guy yeah, is not weakened. Well, it has to be unit who hits 20, right? Yeah. Which Wait, is... Shinon? Can it be Shinon? Oh, uh, Shinon already, already cap capped speed? it, I'm pretty sure. I think so, yeah. Well, neither of these are transfers. I'm just going to give it to we'll my just... favorite. We can't really check. We'll have to see if his uh, if it's like lit up white in his inventory. <laughs> if he can use the speed wing. The oh, pie. yeah, that's the, that's the way to check it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Shinon can uh, get... He was close to Kevin defense, but he did, I think he ended up being out of reach for defense. He missed it on his second to last level up. Woo! Oh, let's go, dude. I can't believe okay. he's about to cap more stats than we'll have my units. I know, <laughs> yeah. This is unfair. This is outrageous. We could use all these Largo transfers. Okay, I don't know. I think his general was aggressive. I might just like get Stefan ready to face him. Yeah, I don't I remember the general and dragon being in that position. So. Same. This, that looks sketch. Like that, that never happened. Oh, hello. Whoa! Provoke. He still has that, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's just got like a laser pointer. I mean, to be honest, I completely forgot he was in range. Like he was, he was being sneaky in the bushes over here. It's okay. He still needs to kill. Oh, that dragon is aggressive, and the general. Oh, they're both like that. Hello, stop coming. Hello. Hello? Okay, they have the well. same idea you do. They want to avoid the center. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's it. <laughs> effective damage incoming. <laughs> no, no. Resolve. Holy crap! It's no. a trap. Okay, it's resolved. Though. We're fine. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> I saw that. I'm like, no way. We're you gonna activated get my trap card. Oh, this guy went for Rune Sword Ike. He's about to get it. Right, I have no idea if I guess Wolfer Triangle, but it doesn't matter. I don't think he has Wolfer Triangle. I think he's literally a, a magic user right now. With more magic than Reese. With more, yeah. Goodbye. Yes, he's still in all the XP. But every do unit we, on this side we... is. Yeah, imagine if he had Sonic Sword. Boom. He would like just demolish these wyverns. <laughs> Alright, going for Oscar. I respect it. But it's like, whoa. Oh, I can do that too, we think. We gotta do we gotta do the we gotta do the rune sword mirror. The rune sword mirror? <laughs> oh. I hope he yeah. lives to tell a tale. He probably will, it's Oscar. He probably will. Oh, this is not a javelin, never mind. It's uh, yeah. it kinda looks like one, so but the silver lance was, was fancy. I was, I was about to say like, yo, Mecca, I bet Astra? <laughs> he Astra? Will live. Crit? Okay, never mind. We're good. I wonder if, no boy. Which one do you think is the one with Astra? The next one? Uh, maybe. It's gotta be this one, right? I think I have the Silver Sword. Silver, Silver Blade. Blade the Astra. Okay. Okay. Well, I can we might never range, know. So he probably wouldn't get hit anyway. But damn. Mm -hmm. Or like they do half damage, right? So then he has like this twenty-four damage and de damage, and then they they have like lower thingies. Okay, this yeah, guy's definitely Joffrey kill range. Easily, easily. Steel bow. Teroniod. Massive XP. Now I'm already dying. So it's to be like. Uh, effect wait, oh, is that, that's not enough, what? bro. No, How is that not enough, enough Joffrey? That's not enough. This guy got hit by Resolve Toronio twice, and it was not enough. Yeah. Oh, and as far well. as when. Whoa, thank you, Skill. As far as when Resolve like calculates whether or not you can double. Uh, I actually. So I don't know how it is for Path of Radiance, but I know that in Radiant Dawn, if you're getting attacked, then. When you make your first attack is when Resolve calculates whether or not you can double. Because I've done some like Resolve Resolve Nosferatu stuff before, <laughs> and if you were in Resolve range for the first hit, but the Nosferatu brings you above, you still actually get the second hit. Then it's what I thought I knew too. Oh, I actually should have used something else, like anything that's not Steel Sword. It's okay. Sword is just flexing on this Heavy Spear guy. That's right. At weapon triangle, I actually totally forgot too. Yeah, like I look at this and I thought he had weapon triangle advantage from over there. It's almost like we have other things on our minds, and it's Nickerin's playthrough. Yeah, Fimble better is in this game now. Fimble better is <laughs> all right. Rune sword mirror. 
This is the guy, right? He attacked us at range. Yeah, this is the guy. He went for Oscar. Yeah, I remember. Okay, let's see. Okay, it. here we go. The mirror map. Okay, we have the terrain though, so it's not really a fair fight. Oh, I mean, if you look at everything else Ike has, it's never gonna be fair, right? That's right. I love how the healing is after you hit them, like five years after, so it takes like forever to resolve. No pun intended. <laughs> now this is how you do it. Oh, they only do this it if, they, you do if it. they hit you. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll die then. Dude, Resolve Teronio is kind of legit if you can get him in range. It just takes forever. Because he's too good. Yeah, the issue isn't that his speed is low, it's that his defense is too good. How are you mm -hmm. going to get him in range? Pretty sure this guy's weakened enough for Anna to get the kill. This is the Astra guy, right? Pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure I've seen Silverblade so. Astra before. Shall we check the other one to see if he's Astra? Or shall we not cheat? Shall we just... I mean, we might as well cheat. This is like the last Sword Master, right? Mm-hmm. I think it'd be, like... We're gonna kill him anyway, right? Yeah, so. it's not okay. Him. We we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. What if we leave Ladies him alive and, and then we kill him with top three? Would that be greedy? Yes, it would be. I mean, we, yes, we were gonna kill be. him. We promised. We promised we were gonna kill him. No cheating. That's right. No cheating. Why is Oscar such a low level? We've been using like the hell out of him this entire run. I think like there's like a point in the game where no matter what, how good you are of a paladin, you just kind of stop being as good. You just start being like a a helping hand. Just a so, unit. Yeah, the question is like, I think it's because, okay, so it's not, usually it's because I'm using my flyer. This run, it's because I was using Boyd, uh, Soren, <laughs> freaking Anna right here, uh, Joffrey, uh, Ike Brandos. doing everything, Largo, uh, Sinon, that's why. <laughs> that's how it happened. Uh, is there no one in the middle about to sneak up on me? No, okay. I know, You're like, using all these foot units. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. I think um, Ash starts, starts moving at some point, but like, who cares? Uh, yeah, Ashnar moves if you're in range. That's it. He doesn't... Well, that. No, no, he starts moving at some point. It happened during my Iron Man. It's like he's suddenly Wait, like, really? haha, I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> Let's go. He's just like. Yeah, he's he's not the type to wait. Enough is something. enough. Yeah. Right. He's done with your shit. Interesting. It's like I, a certain turn knew. number. You think he, doub he doubles cats? Like quadruples them? He doubles quads, cats? Well, we're about to find out. Yeah. He, he well, must Well, maybe we're not. Okay. Well, no, no, we just found out. And this cat also found out. Ooh. Ooh, almost there, almost there. He he literally waits patiently for his revenge, and then he's like, stops being patient. Well, I mean, so does the other unit, so. I think we gotta be a bit of a coward here and uh, chill, because there's too many units for me to uh, risk my boys and yeah, girls. There's, there's actually a lot of guys coming in. It's actually the dragon a lot. is pretty high accuracy, too. Mm -hmm. It's probably a. Uh, we don't have to make a full wall, it's fine. I'll just do this. Yeah. Just to fall behind because of his. Uh, existent luck. Doing hard. things like straight line strats here is kind of not useful because they half these guys just have Kanto. Yeah, it's so not it's about not like that. It's more like they can't get the stuff on, so he can't like crit him. Like, like I'm talking like a freaking, like, 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 I'm like, talking like a, I'm talking oh like my a, god, like a mecha, like, like, like Lamau. To be fair, I say it a lot too. Uh -huh. I haven't said a lot when I'm typing. I'll like type a sentence, and there'll be on Perf average like 1.2 likes. Provoke good? Provoke, yes. <laughs> one. Boom. Well, we, know, we can no longer use the turn number to check if he has a kill, but I think he missed a kill on one player phase earlier, so maybe he compensates now? I think so. <laughs> I shall wait for her revenge, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more kill. Yeah, I can subscribe. Alright, can we get the Tina there with just chip damage? No, we can't. I think we get Shinon there if he just chips someone. He just. Is done. If we get just one more, never mind. Oh, there's the Brave Axe. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Castle? Nile. Well, I think it's not. either Nile or Parody. Well, we're about to find out. It wasn't Parody, that's for sure. Well, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Sinia is done now. No, wait, it's Shinon who's almost done. She's like almost done. Like, She's like, almost there, yeah. Yeah, one more kill for her, one more kill okay, for yeah, Shinon. Okay, one more, one more. And then I guess it's like feed the rest of Jill. Like, this is just chip and feed the rest of Jill. I think so. The only other unit who was really close was maybe like Jeffrey. I don't uh -huh. know. Oh, there's another like, but do you, do you think any of these units can kill a dragon? <laughs> maybe yeah, like, Guzax, Largo. Lar Lar Four, Four, ooh, which is actually more my the Guzax or the Silver uh, Forge Silver. Uh, I'm gonna bet fifty versus whatever this. Is. This is this has stuff. It's got to be more. It's got to have more than eight, might. Yeah, get out of here. 
Whoa. Whoa. Five dragons Candy. at the same time. He'll tell Candy. the stuff about this. <laughs> He'll be telling stuff about this. People about this in the pub all the time now. That was so cool. So there like, you go. imagine you're Titania and last chapter you tinked a dragon and then Largo comes up and one shots one. <laughs> How do you Just feel? He, does, he out no damages you by like dubious. 60 points. <laughs> 60 points. He does no. not mess around. All right, the bad news for Tin is that I think all she can do is chip. She's that bad now with these like lack of weapons. But the good news for Titania is that might be enough. So yeah. All right, time for a throwing axe duel. Wow! Oh come on. I, I wonder if she does get 80 XP for chipping. Oh, there's a cancel. Very timely. Yep, she's there. A cancel. There we go. All she needed. Nice. And did she get anything useful? No, I think. I think there's it's literally just speed that she's got. That's yeah. all. We're we're cheating, but like you mm -hmm. know, we want to show the transfer. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I will chip this uh, this guy. With the, let's use the breaker for this one. Yeah, this is the this is the forged steel, right? A night killer. This is no. yeah. This is a forged steel, I'm pretty sure. Well, the pink lemonade bow. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we did it. Okay, do we gotta right. kill this, this silver lance general? Hey, strength. Cap speed here too. Do we not cap defense? No, we, we, okay. we decided not to get defense and screw us over. Very cringe. Do you think Har will kill this guy, it. or do you think Jill, Jill does not kill from here? I know for that for sure. Jill, we don't have the heavy spear, so. <laughs> I mean, we still wouldn't kill with it. the heavy spear. Come on, that's the silver lance in this game. Brave lance. Wait, we have brave axe and brave lance on Har. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a. Everyone else is like C rank lances or whatever. Oh, I think this guy's dead. Right, I guess Jill just has not, like. Come on. This comically large night killer. Yeah. So big and yet so little damage. So sad. Let's surround this guy. What if we try to hit him with like a weaker weapon from Stefan? And then, a weaker weapon? And then just don't crit or Astra. Because I'm pretty right, sure Jill does not kill from here. Maybe no she, longer need to no, show she doesn't double. That he's she doesn't double these guys. Well, rip. About all that. <laughs> My Jill is really bad, but she's the only unit on this group who can get transfers from here, so. Who doesn't already have them? You know what I mean? She's like, well, I was about to say Jeffrey's closer to 20, but, you know, he also has to cap stats, so I don't think that's ever going to happen. This is what I mean when I say this map looks so empty. It's like, once the rushing enemies are gone, it's like, what is, what is left, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's one reinforcement group on turn 10, that's it. Yeah, and it's like, I think they come when Ashnard moves, or when, he, when you bait Ashnard as well. Alright. How do you get a bad Jill? Didn't we, like, try to bench Jill about four separate times over the place? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in, a like, way, enough yes. is enough. in a way, yes. In a way, yes. Okay. Except we're no longer deploying Jill. Uh huh. Okay, we got to heal Joffrey, and we got to get him going. Oh, he's at full health. Well, good thing we have a health checker I mean, here for that. Yeah, good thing we have that. About the Stefan theory, is Raisin's correct? I'm always right. Well, I mean, Stefan has crit and killed every single thing he attacks so far, so I think he's correct. There we go. There's no other way to put it. Soren's about to get his transfers. Bench Jill halfway through the final map. Get her killed. All right. Remember, don't heal Tronio. He's in resolve range. We need to preserve this. True. We need to keep. Oh, ooh, we can't Ashra staff anymore. Oh, that's right. Good thing I didn't then. I Wait, if we to. rescue Tar, if we rescue Taraneo, does he get healed by Ashra staff? Uh, that is a very interesting question. Um, we could try it out next turn. Yeah, probably having you will have nothing to do, so I'll do it for yeah, funnies. Just... Just use the Ashra staff. We have what two uses of that left, or <laughs> yeah, two uses. What well, I think I used one when like people were asleep or something. Last chapter, yeah, we last chapter because there was a bunch of people asleep and I think someone injured. Or, like Good this is a good use. Good kitty. Uh, do I don't think, think he gets healed. You think Runesword kills a cat? A cat? There's only one way to find out. It's true. They haven't used a Ragnarok a single time so far. I just want to point that out <laughs> in this in this chapter. <laughs> How do both of our stream finales end up with uh, the Lord using a ranged light magic sword, raisins? Oh, all of How them, all the time. I mean, this works out exactly. What was the other time? <laughs> so I don't think it was a... your back now. <laughs> Wait, what was my Lord with the magic sword using one two range? Uh, I mean, uh, when we streamed the Lin finale, we oh, got yeah. the light brand kill on their Dune. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, Lin sword good. 
leaf with the light brand. Uh -huh. Do we do we ever have leaf with attack with the light? No, there's no way. It was negative growth. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> oh right, <laughs> I was like, did we do that? Yeah, yeah. No, did we do that in the fine. final map? Nah, nah, no, we didn't. <laughs> did we? No. Okay. What we should do, I think, is move this group more forward than the other group so that Ashnard hopefully goes in this direction. Because I don't know what to do with Ashnard goes left. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> like Anna and Ike are both here. <laughs> The other group is just going to sit, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just the slaughter. Run okay. away. Reese's turn is still open, so we can do it with the Toronio. So, big boy, come over here. I'll just have, like, Nana do it, and I can do it. Uh, yeah, let's have Anna grab him for a turn. And then use the Ezra staff. We'll see what happens. I mean, we'll find out if, <laughs> if Toronio's a full health by putting him in range of Ashnard, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could take drop him and then try and do the. Uh, this is a very good use of the Ashra staff, by the way. Uh huh. I think uh, there might be like ten damage on our units combined. Yeah. No. There's no. Defense. Whoa. <laughs> res transfer risk, maybe. Maybe. I mean, no. Come on. You can How level are you up. Get him six technically, levels. technically, he has like nearly infinite XP. If you count. Uh, sure. Ashnard. Okay. So if I move this group towards the courtyard, will that bait Ashnard? I hope not. Yeah. Uh, right, let's let's get Jill to those transfers. She's got to get there eventually. I'm out. Um, Level guard, 14. Oh, we're so far away. There's no way. Call call me a doubter. This is dubious though. Look, this I can hit a cat so many times with Jill. You have no idea. That's true. Her strength is pretty trash. Okay, they're close. They're more. Yeah, they're more up. I'm gonna move them even further up just to make make Ashra go like, oh, juicy Oscar target. Uh, okay, Let's, we can just drop Toronio next turn, it's fine. Just go up. I mean, Jill already capped defense, and defense is, like, not terrible to transfer. I'm not gonna pretend, like, it's not it's not speed or strength, but it's still, yeah. you know, a and stat. I, and I will say, just in, in general, Jill yeah. is probably the unit that benefits the absolute most from transfers. Like, if you could only get transfers on one unit in all of Radiant Dawn, mm -hmm. it, would, like, it would have to be Jill. Yeah. There's such a difference. I think you can make an argument for Nephany because you have to use Nephany at some point, and it's just it's so beneficial to have him on her, right? Whereas Jill, you can ignore if you want to. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. level 15, Doubter is incoming. Oh, come on, come on, Jill, no. please don't be like this. No. Jill's like, okay, I'm going to prove Raisin's right, 100%. Pro no. I mean, prove Raisin's right? What, Jill bad? What? He said oh. no transfers, so... True, true. I mean, either Jill or Joffrey has to reach, right? There's no other way. Um, no other way. I mean, I agree that Jill is like better than Nephany with transfers or without, like no matter what. And like, if you're going yeah. at any kind of efficient pace, then obviously the transfers on Jill are much more useful. But it's... I'm just saying, Nephany going from like minus two to plus four speed is pretty good. Yeah. Uh... Like your tra transfers Neph doubles regular Neph. You know. Rune Sword is probably pretty good against dragons. Just saying. I, I probably shouldn't put these I, people on range because I want to see I heal. <laughs> that's true. Oh, do we do we check Tarnow? Uh, yeah. How do we do that? I guess we can try to rescue him, and that will probably bring up the menu. Think so. Hey, it healed him. Cringe. Oh. Nice okay, to get damage again. So he cannot damage Ashnard. Rune Sword will break. It will probably break before we get to Ashnard, but that's the whole fun of it. Oh, right? oh no. <laughs> oh no. If, anyway. If you... If, if you don't want to break the rune sword, in a way you've already broken the rune sword. Okay, I just used Oscar to get Soren out of support range from Ike just so he can heal with the rune sword. <laughs> this is how we, yeah. This is massive for the slow turn count community. Okay, I'm gonna unequip. Do I unequip them or equip them? I'm not sure. They probably have more defense, less than defense on Jill, so I should unequip them. Is because... there a. That, that bishop has a healing staff, right? Oh, this one? Probably some Do these kind guys of have it. healing AM? I don't know. I I'm so. not allowed to check. <laughs> Someone said oh, I don't, we can't check. I can't we have check. no idea. If I'm yeah, really cheeky, I can fly Jill over right now and like not kill the sage, I guess. But I, I know she's not gonna so. kill the sage, so. I... Where's Reese? Oh, he's here. Okay, good. Ooh. I gotta watch out for that. Okay, I'm gonna attack, so I'm a lower HP, and then maybe he'll attack me again. Get him, Jill. Is that a crit? No, he's not a crit. Get him. No, like this it. it looks like it, but... Yeah, she's just pretty happy to see him. She's just <clears> dodging getting attacker. really far away. All right. The dagger has, like, bad BO. <laughs> Raisin's about to trick Mecha into breaking the rules. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I think Titania has the best defense here out of these units, so... I'll use her, and then Har has pretty good defense, too. I'll just give him, like, weak-ass weapons so they don't kill the guy. Hopefully he'll go for Jill anyway, but you never know. And we'll get Reese closer so he can maybe heal Jill if she gets hit again. 
I mean, this group doesn't really have much to do except just support Jill in her endeavor. Exactly. That's why I'm here. Look at me being old-fashioned, using the rescue drops instead of just shoving. <laughs> instead of just... Boom. Forgot what game we're in. <laughs> oh, going for her. Okay, fine. Our transfers it is. <clears throat> well, Har's gonna steal some XP right now. Did he just crit with a hand axe and not even kill? That's <laughs> right. I mean, it is a regular hand Why axe. Why does his crit look like Jill's normal attack? I just want to know. I think they... Wait, did they fly up even less? Like, a regular yeah. attack they fly <laughs> way back and flying. you just, like, full hop. When they attack normally, they hold back. Yeah. The shorter the hop, the bigger the damage. All right. Is this Aether? Aether Rune Sword? <laughs> but he doesn't have Aether anymore. He's the, oh, wait. Oh, that was just up close Rune Sword attack, probably. That's probably why I did that. All right. Uh, this could definitely go to Soren, but we're going for Joffrey, right? I mean, I don't even remember how much damage this guy has, but there's no way Oscar kills him, so... <laughs> like, Oscar doesn't know we what We gotta deal is. with Bryce at some point. Oh, is he... is this Bryce? Yeah. Uh, must be, no, the other one. He's not here. Wait, which one? The the northernmost one. Is, is it because he's more black? Well, yes. Wow. That, that, that's I can't believe I you said that on stream, Jan Raisins. You said it! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we know Joffrey did, like... Eight times two to a wyvern, right? So yeah, this guy on. is not at sixteen HP. He's much higher. So conclusion, it can be done. Trust. We, we spear no. him with Oscar. We spear. Yes, this was the right the... call. Don't crit. Yeah, no. Look at this twenty-five. We're gonna do like five times two. <laughs> <laughs> My units are so good. My units are so good. All right, it's time to make a wall, uh, chat. It's time to make a wall. We'll get the chip in with the Joffrey. And by chip, I mean, yeah. he's, he's going to do zero damage with the Guzbo watch. Zero nah, damage. Trust, he's going to do more. Okay, you're right. Told you, seven. You're right. But it's only That's, one. <laughs> it's only, only one yes, attack. Only seven. <laughs> Doesn't even double the dragon. Come on, bro. From here, there will be dragons who don't double. All right. Spear, so you can also counter for zero damage. And then... We'll make them activate Resolver again, how about it? Actually, no, just Wall with Ike. Don't be dumb. Wall yeah, don't Ike. be a silly person. Okay, we're actually going to use sword's this, gonna this bring. Now. Okay, yeah. This, the, uh, the plus five defense might be relevant. Yeah, it might honestly be. Uh, Soren a little bit backwards. Oh, Is Wishblade one Ranger two? Oh, sleep price? Good night. Oh, that's massive. <laughs> Good night. Get out of here. I want my XP. <laughs> massive. No! What? <laughs> no! He dodged. Did, did you see the hit rate no! on that? I didn't, I didn't see the hit rate. 97? 97? 97. Get out of here. <laughs> You're trolling. No, I ain't trolling. It was 97. Grayson, you know you're not allowed to troll on my stream. I, I ain't trolling. <laughs> I only tell the truth. Well, what if I ask someone else if you always tell the truth? Uh, uh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he saw you peek at the hit rate. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. I mean, did, didn't Soren get like regular XP from that? Did he get one XP? I actually, I don't. I wasn't paying attention to the XP. Is he capped? No, he's not. No, we're close. There's a dragon coming for Jill here. That's a lot of chip XP. In fact, there might even be zero damage XP involved. We might have to like use our weapons up against this dragon. One, one <laughs> EXP at a time. <laughs> one EXP at a time. It's all it just, takes. Just attack him 430 times, or however many you need. <laughs> 430 times. Those are baby hour numbers. Where I said, I'm not tired. <laughs> <laughs> I was very confident. Whoa. Well, I mean, the good news is that he's, uh, in, he's in front of him now. The bad news is that Bryce has the Wishblade. Does Wishblade have two range? Um, I think it always one does. Range. So I don't know if he's in range, though. Oh. Um, hopefully none of these other guys have, like, spears or something. No, that's not Oscar. That's Joffrey, isn't it? Oscar would, like, well, Oscar would not even notice that damage. Yeah. So, Bryce, Oscar, how much of an asshole are you going to be? Is Bryce in range? Yeah, I don't think I don't think you think he's in range to be honest. He's like I think he's either six or five squares away. They have like five moves, so I am scared. Well, it's enemy phase, so we'll find out. Uh huh. Nothing to do. Okay, that's Oscar. Okay. That's fine. We're fine. <laughs> that's fine. Hello, I am Bryce, a general of Dayan. Okay. So, so the Holy question crap, is. That's a lot. We have now survived enemy phase officially. Well, not not Doesn't, officially. Oh wow, Oscar does Bryce have a skill? Wow. Yeah, he has okay. Daunt, Daunt and something nah, else. That's, Favis, I think? that's Ashnard. No, he also has Daunt. They are they are both Danes. They both have it. 
Ooh, okay. Moonsword versus Wishblade Hive? <laughs> Legendary. Uh, so... Fogcotty versus Wishblade? Fogcotty would lose. Okay, so we can either heal jo uh, Joffrey with Soren, or we can use mm -hmm. the Sleep Staff on Bryce again. I'm kind of feeling the Sleep Staff, personally. We can Astro Staff. Do we have an Elixir on Ike or no? Oh, we can Astro Staff, that's right. We have a... That's right. I should have Elixir on Ike, too, yeah. So I can give that yep. to him as well. It's not like he's and attacking to hurt the, anyone. <laughs> Although I, I would I like to take the dragon again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, does take you out of resolve range, but it's still. I was, nice I'm, not in, for I'm not in resolve range anymore. Remember, because he's. Uh, oh, ooh, right. He's, he got healed by the Asher staff while he was being held by uh, one of the cows. Uh, I think I like the elixir plan and just get rid of the dragon this turn with mm -hmm. uh, maybe with Ike. Um, I'm not allowed to peek. I need to like switch my wall up a bit. I think I'm gonna hit the dragon with Ike, with like the, the rune sword maybe even because it did like quite a few bit of damage. Didn't it? Wait, did he get healed or is he? He's low on HP, right? He's like yeah, at, he's like, on 11, I like think, right? 19. I want to yeah. say like 19 or 18 hit points. But mm. well, we know Oscar did no damage. The the reason that uh, Soren has a higher status staff hit right now is because he's closer to Bryce, so yes. you get plus one hit on mm -hmm. your status stats for every mm -hmm. square you approach. Every square closer. I need like a little bit of damage on the dragon. A little bit. Not a whole lot. A little bit? A little bit. Like, maybe this little bit? And then if he gets hit, he's just Tarn in resolve Dale. range anyway? That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good plan, good plan. He, he probably has more attack than Joffrey and Oscar. Yeah, Soren will get there. He will get there, because he's going to like use stabs. The, he's like already 19-something. The dead vein. It's Remember not enough. Remember when we promised we are going to use dead For Ooh. what, rune sword? Holy crap. Is this... Oh, oh, what the hell? No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! That's was so that perfect, stupid. little? Was that perfect? <laughs> that was perfect. No! It's resolved like just below half HP, like less than fifty percent. Less? It has to be less than. I think so. That was like literally the one combination of stats that yeah. could have possibly killed Tarnail. This this <laughs> this dragon calculated this from the very beginning. Like. What? He has resolve and you killed him by doubling. <laughs> yeah, Ow. I got doubled by a guy with an resolve. He got doubled! Doesn't, doesn't proc on player phase? It definitely does. Come on. There's no way. It might not have Radiant Dawn. I'm pretty sure it can get... Like, I've seen no, it proc gonna... on like enemy phase, at least. You um, have to be less than 50, I'm pretty sure. Uh-huh. I, I mean, I, there's no other explanation. I mean, can you oify it real quick while I grab my death counter? Sure thing, uh, sure let's thing. See. Iron Man, Death Counters. Now I have to actually open the program and everything and hope it works. Mm -hmm. Damn, Tornado really forcing me into using technology. Oops. Um, get it in here. Yeah, dragons in this game are like fast and bulky. What? Oifi is wrong. It says when user is at half HP or lower. Yeah, either that or it, do or it does not proc on player phase, right? Like, is there a possibility no. you're wrong on that one? You're sure? It definitely does proc on player phase. I'm. Because I've, I've used it to, like, kill Ashnard on player phase. Okay. I'm, I'm dead certain it procs on player phase. Rip, Marino. Oh, he oh, killed Toronio. I can't believe he do this to a fellow mustache man. Uh, You think Anna gets doubled by a dragon? <laughs> uh, actually, Kirby Master might be right. It, he might have just been oh. doubled even with the resolve. Uh, this is basically based Toronio, so you're probably not wrong. Oh. I don't care what anyone says. I'm sleeping this Bryce guy. Yeah. This is where I would really wish that Raisin was alive. What? Oh, he can't be slept, probably. He probably cannot be put to sleep. He probably just can't be slept. You can't wow. sleep Bryce? What? We got wrecked. We got trolled by the 97. It's like, actually, even 100 doesn't hit you. What? Bryson is a boss? Uh, I guess he is a boss. But is I thought he, you could sleep yeah. bosses. This boss cheated. He's cheating. This Thracia now, well, now we definitely have to heal him and, like, kill this stupid dragon. Yeah, are we gonna have to Asher Staff or something? Or? I think... No, we can, like, Elixir? I guess you can't sleep boss at all. I'm not used to, like, bosses being, like, out and about, I guess. Yeah. Normally, the reason you can't sleep bosses is just because they're on a throne and the throne heals them. Yeah. Or restores them, rather. So stupid. Well, this should just be able to one-shot him, though, to be honest I with think you. So too. Uh, nope. Whoa! Well, I guess we're getting close to resolve range now. Okay. Uh, okay, Ike in resolve range should be like practically invincible though. I would hope so. He's also about to break the rune sword. Like I think he's at like one use. Yeah, he's at one use. Well, before he dies, let me take his elixir real quick. We're still about to get like speared by stupid Bryce. Dude, the overconfidence is real. Then we lose the elixir. <laughs> 
invincible. Uh, Elixir just dies. Uh, I do you want. I'm gonna kill can... General, I think, with this. Yeah. Just bond support it. Oh, is he in bond support range with Oscar now? I didn't even do yeah, it intentionally. Alright, slay, king. What if you need the rune sword later? This is later. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think he did proc resolve. It was just Tarneo slow. But I didn't see the animation for him proccing it. Yeah, I, that, that's what bug. That's what confuses me too. Do you know if this general's weakened or not? Uh, he's like a little bit. Like, he lost maybe eight hit points. Okay, there's no way Oscar kills that. Yeah, no. I'm like slightly worried for Ike, but just like, cause like, what if he gets like hit by the general, and then I don't know. Kill the, Rune Sword though. The general will probably go for. Joffrey anyway, though. Yeah, he has the rune sword with like I, two uses. It's kind of weird. I, Ike has a one use rune sword, so mm -hmm. yeah. he should be able to heal however much I. However in general, much. and I guess he survives Bryson from there. Okay, let's just not worry. We'll be fine. Safe state copium. Yeah, we need <laughs> the rune sword for the trial maps. <laughs> I will actually We're make doing it safe that because right? I'm not re replaying this whole map for this. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do my, use my one cheat message. Okay. Okay, so this sage, he hasn't done anything still. Uh, well, now I know nothing to mess with the fucking dragons, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, they're kind of big. Okay. I'm gonna launch a full retreat. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if Jill can damage him. So we'll find out first. Uh, this is a strong weapon. It, it doesn't speak the truth or anything, but it is a, technically it is a strong weapon. It is a... yeah, no. It's a why. Get out of here. We'll sneak around the back. Largo can't be close to a dragon or he'll just obliterate them. Yeah. Truth telling is pretty strong in Tellius, though. Truth telling? After all, one of the weakest units in Radiant Dawn is a liar, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Good one. Strong. Uh, there's like no benefit to putting her close to, like, in, in Bryson range. Yeah, no. Dragon like, Nihil? Just... Nah, we, we would have seen Nihil, I think. Somewhere, in some way. Oh. The, yeah, it would have. Oh, it would have probably. See? He's like waiting not patiently. I'll bring this fight Watch to him go you. left. I Watch him go left. Oh, no idea. Oh, that's, that's, going that's, mid. that's where I'm grinding my dragons. Hello? Hello? Oh, she's not getting two shot, right? So. Yeah, it's uh, it's Nasir who has Nile. Yay! Woo! In the middle? No, that I would have met him. Loads. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is good, actually. Uh, I wonder if he survives Bryson. There's no way Bryson's as strong as a freaking dragon. No. He's he's strong, but not that strong, right? Alright, Chip XP coming in. Oh, going for Joffrey, as predicted. Can you do 32 to my Joffrey? I gotta kill this asshole. Almost, man. Oh, come on, get some chip damage on him at least. Dude, but no, he's, right just, he's too He dodgy. dodges everything. He dodges 100% hit sleep stabs. He dodges my spears twice. Bryson is not willing to slow down for me. Oh, holy crap, dude. Okay, here's the friends. And do we need to maybe like put a unit in range of Ashnar? Yes. I think right now he's gonna... I think he'd be tempted to go for Joel. If, yeah, if yeah, it's now the time to put Ike in. But Ike is... No, no, Boyd could probably take on Bryce, right? I think we'll try to see if Boyd like crits Bryce. We also have Soren to hit him for like really hard. True. Uh, Soren mean, doesn't get O code. Like, we could just number Boyd five just... slay him for like a lo or like killer axe him for a bunch of damage. Yeah, we don't want a number five slayer or tomahawk from next to Oscar for the bond support. Eh, I think like the bond support is nice, but the killer axe is more crit than the bond support gives him, right? So. I think so, but is it more might? Yeah, it's the same might. Hmm. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. All right, Bryson, wishblade this, dodge this. What the hell? I see an enemy surviving Boyd. I get scared. It doesn't no. double. He doesn't double. Wait, Bryson's kind of kind of pog actually. Yeah, he's kind of he's. Kinda okay, massive. how about we hit him with Soren and we share a staff? We just surround him and we just share a staff or something. Like, just give it to this one last general clown. Because like I, I get so. full health, might... right? So he like yeah, get the general here. The, actually, he might. Oh, he might have been canceled because Bryce does have cancel. Hmm. But again, I didn't see animation. I do have Resolve Wrath on Ike, yes. And if counter effect Ashnard. <laughs> well, I'm not about to put Titania in his range to find out right now, but maybe if, if, if all goes wrong, then we will we will find out for sure. Okay, I don't think I can kill Bryce this turn because he's that good. Uh, oh, it did play the cancel animation. Maybe we did get canceled then. Oh, okay. 
Okay. In that case, could we mm -hmm. maybe offer Jeffrey a sacrifice in order to make sure that Ashnard goes this way? Oh, but then you know, Void and Soren and whatnot are a little vulnerable. Yes. Yeah. I mean, well, we can just let Ashnard like, go middle for a turn and then drag him in, maybe. I think so. There's if we do that, I think there's too much of a risk that he just goes to the left side and you know starts marauding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like one more turn, what can he do? Like go down, I guess. Like sure, he can go down all the way to the left, but he probably will just go down the middle again, right? Like just go here or here maybe, and then we can just put someone here. Like I could just get um, I could surround Bryce with like, um, Anna and Oscar, and send Joffrey down here. Ready to intercept. Can I use the elixir? I can. That means I'm low on HP. Okay, so I'll probably like send Joffrey down here. So that Ashnar kind of wants to go there. Yeah, I'm not bolting Bryce, I think. And then okay. I share a staff. To heal like Boyd and friends. Trit. Easy. Ooh. Ooh. I think I can kill with Oscar. With Oscar? I mean, I'm gonna share staff with anyway. Might as well try, right? With the forge? Yeah, might as well try. Uh. Poker is pretty strong. And this is the damage Poker he took face. last turn, I think, from him, so it should be okay. Yeah, so we should be fine. And if he doesn't kill, kill for Joffrey. Let's give it a go. Duck, got there him. we go. Get out of here. The boss is down. Honestly, Sauron could probably have doubled him. <laughs> from that, was a, that was a really tricky fight. That was the hardest Bryce fight I've ever done. With, like, no, no cap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm dropping some frames, by the way, I think. Oh, Speedwing. Who would even use that? Like, I guess Joffrey and Hopi caps? There's not enough we were, enemies left, I mean, honestly, for Joffrey caps. There's like a couple Paladins, that's it. No, nah, it's not. It's not going to happen. Stop trying to make it happen. It's not happening. Speaking of no cap, yeah. I was thinking about the <laughs> transfer. No cap. <laughs> I think Joffrey cannot get in range. Oh, he can. He can go here. And then... Void is uh, three away from his cap, so he would not be yeah. able to. It's... He would have been there if we just got speed once on his big speed, but it didn't happen. Yeah, we're considering right now the Ashnard bait. Mm hmm. I mean, if we bait him here, it's kind of hard to get away for for Soren, but it's still doable, well, I think. He's like what if we bait a little bit further left? Like, what, what if we just max move Jeffrey left? Because then Ashnard will be totally in position for Ike to just walk in his range next turn and for everyone else to escape. Okay. Does Ashnard have Doing cancel? So, uh. You know, I don't know. There's, I don't so, think so. I don't need well, to sacrifice. Where, where would he canto? Just heal. Yeah. Low. Just uh, heal. I'll equip the stupid killer lance. So I, I, wait, come. if we're if we're sitting here, don't we want to trade the elixir off to someone else? Because I mean, he, oh, healed what? or not, Jeffrey's gonna die. Like, what? He's not gonna get doubled, is he? Is Ashnard that fast? I'm pretty sure he will. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Will Jeffrey be able to escape? Though, to be honest, that wasn't even a consideration. I'm just. I have completely forsaking Jeffrey right here. <laughs> I have, um, I'm just trying to think how much speed Ashnard has, but I don't remember for sure. I could always sack Anna instead. 27 speed. Well, I think Jeffrey just leveled up to 20-something. He used the Night like for a 22. while. like 22. Come on. Uh, not very high. Not my buddy. You don't think Alinja would approve? Well, good thing she's not here, eh? Yeah, no. That's why we sent her home. But, like, what if we just put Jeffrey at the edge of his range? There's no way he can resist that, right? Like, not, like, in range, but, like, at the edge of it. And he's low in HP. Like, he's a he's a definite target. Like, he'll go for it. He's definitely going to go for it, yeah. yeah. Like, just put him he's here, don't heal him. Not, not even in range. Just, like, put him here. Yeah. Okay, good luck. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. We'll see about it. We'll see about it. Yeah. And I'll just move Anna away. She's done her job. Yeah. Boyd, Boyd has the boost, so I, I think he can actually just escape. Uh-huh. Yeah, plus, like, Boyd's not getting one rider. He has max speed, remember? Or near max speed. Yeah, what we if, do have like, to do something about this dragon. If we don't yeah. have three dragons down here. Well, if we kill Ashnard soon, we'll have uh, some reinforcements to take care of him. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, we're gonna. Do we need the Ashir staff still? No, we don't need to. We, we no, we're fine. Done. We need to heal Jill, I think, at some point. We need to, like, do something funky with the dragon, like, keep him going around while he attacks Jill. But this should be an okay spot. She needs to hit though. Well, she's gonna hit anyway. Like, just go here. I'll fall enough. Yeah, guess. let's go somewhere where the dragon doesn't have thick at it. Yeah, basically. I think the here. Here's probably fine. Yeah, this is probably fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Hearth on a range though. That's kind of dumb. That's okay. I can't always be in range, remember? 
Just the old mend. Get that transfers Reese going. Uh, grass, I saw it, but uh, it's a lot of extra work, so no promises. Yeah, we'll <laughs> no promises. Yo! Uh, let's have buzz makes I have a donation basis, yeah. just in case you're wondering why. Oh. That's right. <laughs> Electabuzz sound is so funny. Yeah, that sounds like Electabuzz like motorboarding something. Thank you, Modi, for the 50. I'm not going to stay all the way. Hope your icons have resolved. Wrath that will destroy Ashnard. Have fun. P.S. How the heck do you kill that ball? That is Theronio. Uh To answer your concerns, I will have fun. Um, hope you have fun to whatever you're going to be doing. Uh, I do have Wrath Resolve. Theronio had exactly enough HP to freaking die. To a dragon yeah, he that... just got wrecked. To a dragon that... I, in my opinion, shouldn't have doubled him when he had Resolve active, but a dragon clearly disagreed, so... Yeah, no, it's like, <laughs> I just got enough speed. <laughs> the dragon got a second opinion, was like, no, I actually do want you to die, thank you. Oh, he's going right. right. There we go, you were correct. Do not I was the incorrect. Bait. Now, can we get out of range, is the question. Let's go, Jill. Okay, she goes down to 23 every time, but she has like 46 max, I think. Is that a 2 kill? Oh, did she just crit? Jill, come on. Yeah, this is crit. your XP right here. This is all your XP you're going to get the rest you of the chapter. You need to... Paladins going right. That's fine. Can we escape the range? Well, uh, I got bad news for Joffrey. He cannot. Unless uh, well, we put Ike in the way. Because, like, I start, like, kind of flies. Okay, he flies over, like, everything. Okay. Yeah, no, he. It's, uh, it might be Ike. Well, well Ashard always goes for Ike, though, right? Ooh, he doesn't reach that corner. Does so. he not always go for Ike? You know what? That is a question worth trying. I think he does go for Ike a lot. Uh, you can't rescue Paladins in this game, or any multi units for that matter. So the way I see it, right, Jeffrey's getting attacked no matter where we move him. So why don't we keep him really close by? That way, in case Ashnar does go for Jeffrey, he's not in range of all of our other units. I think that's fair. Uh, I will give Ike his elixir back then, in case he needs to use it. And like, just kind of go like, this middle area here or something with him, I, I think. think so. Yeah, okay, so let's give him this. I don't want him to range the Paladins, and then Ike is full HP, I'm pretty sure. Can't attack right yeah. now. And even though even though Ike has Wrath Resolve, having an Elixir on him just mm -hmm. still increases the consistency of this fight. Mm -hmm. Heal a little bit. I think he needs a little bit of healing. And then Void is fine, he can run away. And Oscar is just about fine. Uh, Soren, do you need help, buddy? No, it's fine. Oh, Soren's good. Why is Ike carrying physic? That's a good question. Why is Ike carrying physic? Oh, that was There's for like my other healers. Because, like, I think I had two little slots on my healers on Reese and Soren to have all the stabs they needed. So I just put stuff on Ike because Ike didn't need anything besides the Ragnar and the Rune Sword. And even yeah, one of those we only just cut it too late. Yeah. And uh, Ragnar is optional, right? You only need the Rune Sword for this chapter, really. Yeah, yeah, really. Okay, so. Wait, if you just. You, you can convoy the Ragnar, right? He soft like yourself for that, is what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Possibly? Carries it in memory of his dear departed sister. <laughs> Alright. For this mage fight. It's a mage knight, he gets a horse. <laughs> uh, I think Dragon has six move. So this should be okay. I remember there, I'm like, why can you Kanto after Savior? And really, it's just <laughs> been so long since I've used Savior on anyone but T Barn. <laughs> <laughs> Like, huh? You could do that? A fair concern. Okay, are we still good on these ranges? Alright, let's play Mary go around. Uh, yeah, pretty sure that's six moves, so if I move Titania out here. We're trying to get Jill to level 20, by the way, for anyone wondering. Also, someone earlier asked, like, why no Royal? And the answer is, uh, he doesn't come until round two of Ashen Art on the heart mode. Normal, there's no that's round right. two, so they give you him right away. Well, let's see just how much he likes to attack Ike. I, I know he really likes that. Like, it would be perfectly in character for Ashen to go for Ike, but if not. Then Jeffrey's very dead. Okay, Jeffrey. It's it's Goodbye. been fun. It's been fun. 
one blow. For nameless wretches like you, one blow is more than enough. Dodge. Out. Dodge. No. Yeah, you can definitely live a hit. Oh, wait, he can't. No, get wrecked. I think if we elixir him, he would have lived. If, if what chat said is true, then that would have been uh, a living jail for you. Jeffrey, no. Not he was bitch. nowhere close to the transfers, so you know. Siblings reunited. It's ouch. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Can't you, you say that? You added him on there fast. <laughs> I had it ready this time. You had it ready. Okay, we're doing how much damage? Five damage. So that's at least 50 more XP. At least. More if we can get these, keep these pallets from killing themselves. That's, eight, that's 80 more EXP. Mm -hmm. Not needing the death counter, top PNG, it's true. Uh, I don't think I can get these uh, paladins to not kill themselves, so hopefully Jill can get the 20 off the dragon alone, I guess. Mm -hmm. Laughs him best. <laughs> okay. I think these paladins are generally very non threatening to Ike. In fact, there's this opportunity for him to proc Ether normally. Uh, let's kind of make sure I have that equipped. So, like, yeah, dragon. do we attack yeah. Ashnard at 2 range, or...? Uh, what does that accomplish? He has 2 range, too. Well, I mean, just to get started on the damage race here. Yeah. I think I'll, like, go up a bit. And it also gives us more information on, you know, how he oh, puts wait. us in resolve range, if he puts us in resolve range. I need to, like, range. not make Ashnard get close to the bishop. I want to use that bishop to, like, kill the dragon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I kind of want to fight, like, in this general area, I think. Maybe like yeah, just damage race, sure. I think I haven't even damaged him yet, so I think this turn I can just take it to like heal Ike just in case he like dies to these reinforcements or something. I don't know. Yeah, and in, in, in hindsight, it, in hindsight, it would have been nice to have traded the physic over to Oscar, but I think someone pointed it out to us like right after we. Yeah, Oscar yeah, move. yeah. No, it's uh, we're gonna have to live off elixirs for a little bit until we can get something weird going with uh, a Canto chain or something. Until we can somehow connect this yeah. maybe, physic. Maybe Boyd with... can deliver it at some point. Like, Maybe. Boyd just goes in there, trades the physics to himself, and Asher's like, oh, I'm not attacking that guy, he's scary. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, but for now, you guys can just uh, kind of run away. Better run far enough. Yeah, getting, getting that physic over here is going to be a bit complicated, I think. Wait, hold on. Uh -huh. She has... No, she has... not just Mend and Restore and Fortify. Wait, well, Fortify counts. Yeah, Fortify counts. I still have the other Shear staff, too. So there's, it's like, a lot of healing strike available. Like, in theory, yeah, yeah. if you want to grind Jill on this dragon, right? We have, uh, we need to keep Ashard alive. So if anything, we don't get to start on a damage race. Yeah. <laughs> Theoretically. One, two, three, four, five. Theoretically. Is it? Two, three, four, what five. level is Joel, actually? Like 16 something? There's no way. <laughs> like, I know, I know we're being kind of funny here. But at some point, should we just be realistic? <laughs> I know what you mean. Be perfectly realistic. I am the most realistic person I know. And I'm telling you, this Jill's making it. This Jill's making it all the way to 20. The things I do for Jill. Wait, oh wait, there's no way you're in range, right? Yeah, okay. Of the bolting? Yeah, no, get out of here. I mean, we're probably in range of bolting at some point if he moves, but we're not. He's not moving, so. Yeah, not right now. We picked up Steve in. Yeah. He uh, had a bit of an awkward move. Okay. All right, here we go. Matt King Ashnard, I will slowly chip you down. Oh, Whoa, he's actually like right at Resolve half. Right? What the hell? Yeah, okay, this is half. Exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> deleted okay, him. easy. <laughs> I just deleted him straight off the map. Easy. <laughs> easy. Yeah, it's just straight up gone. <laughs> All right, bet. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. Wait, isn't he cap defense? Damn, I guess his HP is a little low. Yeah. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Yeah, I guess like, no, you're not grinding Jill on my watch. <laughs> to be fair, we do have to elixir him next turn, because if regular Ashnar did 27, yeah. next Ashnar does more than 27. <laughs> <laughs> One blow. Does he immediately get another turn into phase two? There's no way. There's no, no he way. Does, he, doesn't, he doesn't get danced. <laughs> what if he did? That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just stacks you out. All right, here you go. I'm back. Yeah, Bryce no, gave us more trouble no than Ashnard. <laughs> One punch, man. Where was that for the Death Knight? I mean, this was Resolve. This, the Death Knight is different. I mean, I know you mean Black Knight, but... Yeah. <laughs> 
Still yeah. sing, he says. Alright, let us get a Gifka. A Gifka? Not even gonna make a poll. A Jifka? One Jifka. That's right. That is how it's pronounced, you're right. I think I'm gonna like not heal Jill this turn. This obviously she's not dying in two hits. Yeah. Alright, like you better be okay here. <laughs> he's got resolve, he should be okay, but yeah, low on, HP always gives me the uh, gives me the weird vibes. One hundred million billion avoid right now. Mm-hmm. Should have picked no one. Yeah, flex on them. <laughs> Look, I told you, it's a transfer file. <laughs> gotta pick Gifka. We gotta get Gifka. What okay. transfers does Gifka even get? Do we need to do a unit analysis right here, too? Yeah, we do, actually. Before, yeah. <laughs> right in the middle of battle, we're gonna do unit analysis. Uh, yeah, here brief, you go. Trust me. Okay, I'm actually super worried about my game crashing with the way it's been going, so I'm gonna save state again. So if the stream crashes somehow, you'll know it's because of Gifka. It was our fault. Yes. All right. Let me get get up here. I mean, it's gonna be very okay. brief because you know who cares. Uh, chat screens. Oh, we got an extra elixir. Let's go. Chat mm -hmm. screen. Oh. All right, chat. I'll see you in a second. Everything should still, in theory, work. Okay. Uh, gift guy is meant to help you against Ashnar, but as you saw, we don't have. He didn't have him for his first phase, which is kind of when you need him the most because you can't get to the second phase without the first one. So, uh, I think he's pretty bad. Uh, all things considered, like it would, and as as far as like being a Goto kind of character, I think the Lagoos Royals are pretty shit, like all of them, because they don't yeah. help with the first phase on hard mode. In normal mode, they're like fine for that purpose. Hard mode, no, they just don't help. But for the second phase, it can be nice to have Gifka to like help negate the like healing of Ashnard if you want to take him down. Like if you if he's not proccing ether, you don't have ether, like he can do that kind of stuff. Like he does damage to Ashnard, which is all you need. I don't think he doubles, but. He does like a decent chunk of damage. Uh, Nasala and Tabarn have more trouble doing damage. I think Tabarn doubles but doesn't do enough. And then Nasala does like jack squad. He does like less than Ashnard heals. So yeah, no. they're like Garbo. But Gifa, I think, is alright for that purpose. And the Goose Band is uh, it's like a demi band, but they get full transformation bonuses. So they're basically like form shift from Radiant Dawn. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think, I think Gifka is kind of a non unit almost. He kind of doesn't exist for 99% of the game. The 1% he exists for is kind of alright. But like. To get the point where I'm at, I, there's like five enemies on the map, and then four of them are about to die. <laughs> so, so yeah, not very. I, mean, good. I, I, I guess in this sense, you there there maybe is a decision to be made for transfers, and I know Gifka yeah, he gets this strength transfer, which is actually kind of big. It's like what plus four damage on each attack. Yeah. And Radiant Dawn, and he usually doubles, so it's like plus eight damage on all attacks. It's a big transfer. It's a big transfer. I know it's possible to get T Barn some transfers. He joins at level 19, so you kind of have to do a little bit of work. Oh jeez. But, the the Corel yeah, I mean, moment. Yeah, just do it. Uh, also, I'm glad. I'm, I'm very glad you took the time to put his growth rates on here. That's very important information <laughs> yeah, for this I guy. Know. <laughs> I love the 160% <laughs> HP growth. <laughs> yeah, just in case. I mean, it's but, just showing his history, but why couldn't they just get plus 2 HP one more time for the 69 HP? Just, I don't know, just once. Just once, but no, it's a. Uh, I mean, as far as the Royals go, I guess, yeah, if you're playing on normal mode, there is more of a decision to be made because you actually have them on the map. G Gifka has like the strongest combat. Tia Barn has the strongest mobility. Nasala, I guess, can attack at two range. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, and he I'll gives win. you a coin. <laughs> he gives you he gives you a coin. <laughs> Yay! Which someone in chat mentioned. Woo! You get another uh, steel sword forge in the Grail Mercs <laughs> in part three. <laughs> Massive. But, I mean, what if it's uh, twin sword, right? What if it's oh, twin true, card? true. Hey, yo, you won't unequip the Lugus band on him. <laughs> <laughs> Unequip him with Lugu's Ben and put him in uh, in range of Ashnard. Oh, in range of Ashnard? No, I mean, he probably lived that, right? Uh huh. You're right. Okay, shall we, shall we shall we fight the final boss? Let's see. Yeah, let's just fight the final boss. Uh, I, I don't think Ashnard is going to live this even this yeah. next turn. Well, if we elixir, well, he's, he's going to get wrath resolve. You're right. He's going to yeah. gonna get it for sure. Well, the good news is we won't need to do any complicated sh physics shenanigans. I mean, I could equip yeah, the Windsor for one turn to get extra HP on Jill. <laughs> yeah. Like, let me let me cheat a little bit to find out how far Jill is from capping. Wow, she's not even at sixty. No, yet. we were nowhere close. That's all I'm saying. It's like, be realistic, man. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Growth on the factor of five. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if it was a typo because that does rarely happen. You're right. I mean, the guy who was in charge of Gifka's growths was like, "Come on, guys! I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put in like a little troll Easter egg <laughs> for the data miners." I gotta do it for the memes. Okay, let's see if we can put a dragon to sleep. <laughs> do it, Shinon. 
do Put it. Asleep. How many times did Shinon actually proc Dead Eye this whole run? Uh, at least once. <laughs> That's all I know. At least once. This whole run. There was at least one occasion where Dead Eye happened. I'm gonna do this so I can have Largo in range. Watch I get crit and die. Alright. Just dead. Lagu's Axe! One last swing for Largo. Animation's on too, because why not? Animation's on. We gotta. We need animations on for the Ashnard fight as well, right? Yeah, I think they're forced, aren't they? Or did he not? Oh, yeah, he did. They're, they're not, they're they're not forced. Right. You're right. Yeah. There's like, I think in Jap in uh, Sacred Stones, in Japanese, the Demon King doesn't have forced animations. What the hell? Whoa. Largo, why? Oh, no, why did that, how did a Berserker miss a fast enemy? When did that ever happen? Okay, we double <laughs> what do you mean fast? <laughs> they fast enough to double Do Tarneo? Double Tarneo doesn't double. <laughs> it's like, so... There's no way that Tyronio with Resolve is that much slower than a, than a normal Largo, right? Like, just cheating for a little bit. Like, Tyronio yeah. must have, like, what, 18 speed? Right? Something like that? He had, like, 8. I think he had 8. 8 speed? Damn. I'm really overestimating Tyronio. It's because of Radiant Dawn, man. I got Radiant Dawn on yeah. the line. Yeah, Radiant Dawn Tyronio. Radiant Dawn Tyronio is, like, speed. He's, he's a He's just doubling monster. people, taking zero damage from everything. Yeah, just a monster. Mm-hmm. Except that, no, never. There was no animation. There was no animation. I did use an elixir for anyone worrying. That's right. I made a mistake. No, Rin made a mistake. I blame Rin. All right, watch him crit Got again. Rin. Rin put in the Easter egg. Ugh, he misses Rin. like. Uh, here comes. Ugh, 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 dude, <laughs> it was so fast. I started dropping frames when he was about to die. <laughs> I started they yeah, from no, like I saw, thirty to the zero. The health bar wasn't. The health bar wasn't going down fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, hurry up, dude. <laughs> what are you doing messing around in the final chapter? More, more, I say. Phase three. Yeah. Yes, yeah, very overrated. It's, Good yeah, night. it's, I mean, it, it's overrated if you enjoy your game being difficult, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, I mean, the longer it takes, the more you get to play Path of Radiance. And now it is truly over. So if, we had, if you had been using Ether, we would still be here. A lag switching to win. <laughs> now it is truly over. I want every I want every Ike available to fire on that guy. Base three is done. <laughs> All right, let me watch one little closing scene just to wind down. Stay back. I think they do the Heron song here, right? Yeah, we get to hear it again. Let me get the copyright struck. Did you guys had like how he has an eye patch in the in the thumbnail? That was my favorite detail. Oh yeah, it was my idea. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rajayon. Oh yeah, that's right. Nazir's not here. He got flattened by a building. Mm -hmm. We cry. I cry, Everton. I fucking love the Goldoa team, it's so amazing. And I see you gets flattened by the building. But it would have been so awful if Brajayon, this scene was different because Raisin's not around. I think he retreats. But yeah. Yeah, Raisin just retreats in the story. I, I mean, is that true for a lot of the characters who show up in Raining Dawn? Or? I think a lot of people just die. But yeah. and just in inexplicably exist again, even if you transfer your file. Ah, so this is why people thought that he was alive. Because Rajayon, like, just dies. It's so, so terrible. Oh no. Is Raisin here if you didn't recruit him? Uh, you can fail to recruit Raisin? Yeah, you can say no. <laughs> he won't join, and neither will Jinafanoki, I think. 
Oh, really? They're like, no, Jerryson, stay with Tabarn. Fuck off. I don't need you anyway. I had no idea you could reject them. He's like, the, he's like, I think him and Folk are like the only units you can actually outright reject like that. Anyway, I'm just gonna go through this real quick until we get to the slow text. And yeah, then wait, uh, six seconds. Then it's banter time. Yeah, no. He, he forcibly joins four maps. Like, what the hell is that? Is that like after you go to uh, the the Cause, like, priest map? He joins when you go into Dane. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you can, can reject Cologne. Oh, you can still know them. That's true. Yeah, that's right. You can you can both fail to get mm -hmm. the info combo, and you can also do the info combo and just reject them. Yeah, and then you have no more info, info combo. They won't come again. I think. Yeah. There's like, alright, see ya. Yeah, he gives you oh, a I scroll, that's you... right. And he, yeah. if you get renewal and then you get him later, you get like best of both worlds. You get renewal and racing. Top two. Yeah. Woo! Renewal. Is that the only renewal in the game, actually? Possibly. I don't I can't remember another one. Uh-huh. Aw. I love that everyone gets Aww. an ending in this. It's so Everybody great. gets the little a little yeah. line. Oh, Ina like, has renewal, right? Okay. Not even a line, but like they actually talk to each other a little bit and stuff. Or like, well, they are addressing yeah. Ike, right? But still. Bah. Yeah, this song is great. I'm trying to find a natural point to like start bantering, oh, but all the dialogue in this game is so good. Every time I play through yeah. it, I'm like, damn, I just want to read for it a little bit. Like, I'm not like reading it through all the way and not voice acting it out, but I still want to like read Whenever it a little bit every time. Whenever we get to the slow text, yeah. I think the, I know the slow text is like with the uh, the post credits one, which is a little bit late. Yeah, with like I just the... want to talk about my next let's play. Come on, guys. That's right. Yay, Largo's going shopping. Mm -hmm. Woo! Transfer that night on Largo. You got this. That's right. Could be useful. Hey, Zelkius. More like Zelki sauce. <laughs> Ooh. What up, bro? Wait, is he just carrying his helmet in his left hand? Yeah. It's his hero's heart. I'm out. Yeah. Transfer Jeffrey's arm. Yeah. His arm scroll. His arm. It's all that's left of him. Goodbye, Lagoos. You only see this if you feel the kill the Black Knight. Oh God. I get some of the teleport powder. Hey, the burbs. Some of that rewarp stuff. I'm gonna take wing, brother. Keep up with me if you can. There was like a point where I thought in order to get transfers, I had to like watch the whole epilogue. I was like, oh no. The whole entire thing? Yeah, no. the whole thing. Because I was like, I thought there was like a file after this, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a. Uh, you know, uh, a clear data or whatever. Something of like that, yeah. Turns out it's not there. Look at all these yeah, it's not. cyan soldiers. Mm -hmm. They're like NPCs, but they don't move when I want them to. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. So basically NPCs. The voice acting is bad. Yes, it is very bad. And I don't know who the director is. But I did know Radiant Dawn had a better, must have had a better director. Or at least yeah. someone who cared half the time. Because half the acting like, is good, half the acting is bad. What in Radiant Dawn? Mm -hmm. It's slow text. You know what time it is. It is time right. to announce that the next playthrough of Fire Emblem on this channel with Raisins will, as some of you may or may or may already have guessed, is indeed Ignorant Dawn. Ignorant Dawn. Ignorant yes. Dawn. No movement ranges, baby. No movement no ranges. No checking anything. All vanilla. <laughs> All crap. That's right. No weapon. No weapon mm -hmm. triangle. We'll be in ten years. Yeah. No, no weapon triangle. Yeah, that's true. No, I will. I will not know what the weapon triangle effects. I gotta love. Uh, yeah, hard mode. It's gonna be really tough, which is why I have some. Uh, I'm gonna need some mecha turn wheels probably at some point. Game overs yeah, are very go. prevalent in the in the Dom Brigade, but we'll get through it at some point. And yes, I'll use transfers. I'll use this file transfers. Like that's part of the reason why I'm doing it. I uh, I realized even though I've played Radiant yeah. Dawn twice on this channel already. Somewhat recently, not super recently. The the playthrough with Bismix is two years ago. At this yeah. point, it's actually like October 2020, I think. And yeah. 
Now, it'll be, it'll be the same Iron man -y rules right now, but if I get a game over, I'm not going to stop the run. You know, I want to finish the whole playthrough. So, Tin Man, I guess? Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, and then the Iron Man was, like, I think around December of last year, so still, like, quite a while ago. Yeah, so, you just kind of one day woke up and did, like, a Path of Radiance Iron Man, I remember. Uh -huh. So. Yeah. And then, um... And so, usually I try not to repeat games as much, but there's only so many Fire Emblem games that I have not played on my channel. In fact, there's like one, it's like Birthright, which I'll probably do eventually. So I'm going to have to repeat games at some point, and Radiant Dawn is the best game, or one of the best three games, so might as well repeat it while I while it's like topical. Because, you know, we've just played Path of Radiance. The best time to play Radiant Dawn is right after Path of Radiance. Just continue telling us. Oh, yeah. And um, I think it'll be like a little bit faster paced because Radiant Dawn is faster paced. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking of not doing elaborate unit analysis because I've already done that like a lot of times for Radiant Dawn. So I can just refer people to other unit analysis. But we'll probably talk about the units as we're using them. We're like, oh, this is why yeah, Edward's bad. You know. There's also like 73 units in Radiant mm -hmm. Dawn. So the super cut <laughs> is going to be a bit big. Yeah. And like, I, I just think Radiant Dawn is just super, super fast if you like. UI wise and everything like it's an improvement over Path of Rains in almost every way. Yeah, so oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's that's the other so thing. Yeah, uh, look, when you're trying to pick Let's Play games, um, sorry, we'll talk. We'll go back to Reading Dawn in a minute. Uh, we're talking like Let's Play games. There's some games that just aren't fit for a Let's Play, and FE one to FE three are those games. They're just way too slow. I'm replaying them right now actually for uh, a draft that I did. Uh, I skipped FE one because it's just so terribly slow that I didn't want to play it anymore. So I didn't even draft units for that game. And then I played FE2, which is fine, but you have to speed up a lot. And then FE3, which you also have to speed up a fair bit to just keep it going. It's so sluggish to play those old games. FE4 is fine. I'll do FE4 at some point later. Um, Rin wants to play FE4 with me, so I'll probably do that at some point. And then um, FE5 we played recently. FE6 we played recently. FE7 we play all the time. FE8 I'll probably play again at some point because it's been a while, but I've played FE8 a lot on the channel overall. FE9 we just did, FE10, that's what we're talking about right now. Shadow Dragon yeah. I'll probably do again at some point. Uh, FE12 I'll probably the, do it again at some point. Um, the Awakening. DSFEs are kind of hard. They so. are, they are kind of hard, but they're also kind of fun. Oh, yeah. um, uh, not, not, not like hard as in difficulty-wise, it's like hard to make a Let's Play out of, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I think those games are fun no matter what, although FE12 is definitely a game I'm going to revisit that, like... In a way to make it fun, because the last couple of runs of FE12 I did, I just kind of dropped because I was like, "Oh, this game is so yeah. hard. It's so, it's so mean. It's so much." Uh -huh. So, and then uh, Awakening we just did. Uh, Fates we can definitely visit at some point, Raisins, because I know you finished Fates recently. Yes, so, I did. I just finished the. Mm -hmm. Oh, I still need to finish Revelation. Mm -hmm. but... Oh yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I, I took a. Mm -hmm. I took a break from that to get all the old games out of the way. Mm -hmm. So uh, recently finished like one and three. Mm -hmm. I, uh, let me think here. I was at Fates. Yeah, I, I want to revisit Birthright and, and Revelation both because I like Fates more than I did back then. And now I can skip the story. I don't have to watch it anymore. So I can just focus on the fun gameplay. And then there's Three Houses, which I've done like a million things of. So I'm kind of bored of Three Houses personally. And then, and then uh, oh, uh, speaking of uh, Fire Emblems that are after Three Houses, <laughs> um, yeah. Engage is coming out at some point. I think it's January 20 or so. So January, yeah. The, Three months from now or so. Yeah. So in the event that Radiant Dawn is not finished by then, which I don't think it will at this pace, uh, there's probably some kind of natural stopping point we can hit in Radiant Dawn uh, when Engage is about to come out, like either between two parts or maybe between like the Grim Mercenaries and the Dawn Brigade, like 3-5, three, 3-6 three, mm -hmm. or so. And we'll probably just have to pause it and uh, go for Engage, which Raisins is also joining me for. Thank you, Raisins. Oh, yes, yes. I'll be happy to. And... Uh, what I'm saying, thank you. Um, thank you, Raisins, for joining me for this Let's Play, because it's been a hell of a blast. I love your ignorance idea. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it, 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 was a real, it was a real joy to see you pick it up and enjoy it, I got to say. And I'll, as always, it's a great pleasure to be on this channel. Uh, a great pleasure to be able to join you for all these run-throughs. Hmm. Just great. Mm -hmm. I caught you while you were drinking water. Mm -hmm. No, I was. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the idea. Is, is saying something is so you can talk, so I can drink water. You've exposed that's my right. con. Well done. Uh, but yeah. and I've drunk. I can also thank the chat and everyone watching for uh, supporting, uh, submitting funny comments and submitting funny. Uh, was it Forge names? Because I can never do those. I'll probably open up Forge names on Patreon again for uh, Ignorant Dawn. Uh, the, the forge system is a little bit different, but I'll probably be able to make some forges work, and that's 
how I can repay people who has, whose forges I haven't done is just, you know, prioritize them on Patreon when I haven't gotten to their forge. Because there's some submissions. Like, there's a there's someone who's like, okay, make a lance called Alan. Which <laughs> is like, that's so, that's so good. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, let me know if the SOV playthrough with Bismix. What was the second time you played it? Yeah. Oh, uh, I played an Iron Man of SOV as well at some point. So I'm not going to play SOV for a little bit on the channel. We still ask Raisins how he's doing at the start of every episode. I don't know if I've done it every episode, but I do do it a lot, I've noticed. But a it lot. is important for me to know how Raisins is doing. It's Because uh, if it I know if he doesn't nice say... Mecha cares about me. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if, he, if he doesn't say he's good, then I know something's really wrong, because Raisins is always doing good. I'm... I don't know. I tend to. I try to be a, a positive influence. Hey, raisins, how are you doing? I'm doing well today, flashing fire. Thank you. <laughs> uh, other Kaga sagas. I'll probably take a break from Kaga sagas for after I'm done with TRS, which is a really good game, by the way. I'm really enjoying that one. But uh, it'll take me a little bit before I want to pick up Berwick Saga, which I also want to do at some point. But that'll mm -hmm. take a while. I mean, there's a like, like as far as future playthroughs go, there's kind of this. Like engage is looming ahead of us. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, Green Dawn engage, and we'll see from there. Maybe some fates, maybe some V uh, four with Rin, maybe something else. There is, there's many ideas. Draft race plans. If you like draft race, I have an upload coming up soon that you will really enjoy. It's not oh, a draft race, yeah. but it's like kind of like a draft race. And if they, if that one, kinda... if that one's fun, we'll do more of those. Similar mood. <laughs> Similar mood for sure. A bit more of a more of a funny. Race. I think like. During that playthrough, the banter was like much more fun than during the draft race. Draft race is always like, oh, I gotta concentrate, gotta get the inputs exactly yeah. right. That run was like... Draft race, <laughs> I'm like sweating. Yeah. <laughs> I like, can't tell jokes. Mm -hmm. You know. Original Fireman Warriors, so there's that. I do not like finishing... I don't like not finishing games, but if I uploaded Warriors right now, I think the views would be absolutely horrible, because after Three Hopes, like... Do you see anything about Three Hopes right now online? I personally don't, which is why I think Warriors is completely dead right yeah, now. Wasn't no there... one cares. <laughs> someone, someone came in your server a while back and was like, in your Discord, and was like, yo, no one's posted about this game in like a month. Yeah. And it came out like four months ago. <laughs> yeah. The game just kind of so... came and went. It's very weird to me because normally at least people, you know, they sometimes bring it up. Like people talk about FU4 every day, whereas Three Hopes. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I see it come up sometimes, but it's just. Is this how spin-offs always are? Because I feel like Final never gets spin-offs, right? So besides like well, Warriors. I mean, so like for one, everyone who comes into your server is a fan of turn based strategy. Right? Yeah. Like everyone who is in this community and is talking about this game loves SRPGs. And there are people who play for not that part. There there are people playing three houses who are like, oh, I wish I could just be in a monastery forever. They exist. They're like, oh, yeah, why do I have yeah. to do this stupid grip based thing? Ah. Yeah. And you know, when Three Hopes came out, obviously it did a it did a lot for like the story and the lore, uh, but you can only do that once, right? So once yeah. kind of once everyone who wants to talk about it has seen the story for the roots, you know, it's I'd like on to the next thing with my, in your life, right? It's, yeah, I mean that's that's how it went for me too. I also just got tired of the game itself. Like I, I was going to play the other routes, but I never feel like picking it up again. And I there was a bunch of other things I wanted to try. So yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to sit here and pretend I have like the most nuanced explanation for why people do or don't talk about the game because I didn't play it. Um, but you know, like, I mean, a lot of people really enjoyed the new character designs. A lot of people really enjoyed the new story, and they got that, and they had their fun with it. Um, and now, you know, kind of back mm -hmm. to the regular strategy gaming mm -hmm. thing. It also has such a. Uh non-ending at least the route i played was like i think everyone i've talked to about that game no matter what route they played were disappointed in the ending and i made like one video about the golden deer ending which you know, got okay reception most people i think kind of agreed but didn't feel like uh, there i gotta review like there was at some point there were like three or four different videos i wanted to make about three hopes like both before and after it came out and i just never got beyond like the script or the script recording phase because Something about that game is just like not super exciting to talk about. I don't know why. It's just yeah. kind of a really it really came and went, and I, I think I mean, that's why. I I don't want to sit here and linger too much on it because at the end of the day, like you know, you pay some money for a game and then you play it for like how many dozens of hours and you mm -hmm. enjoy it for those how many dozens of hours. Like I'm not really going to count it as a tragedy. Mm -hmm. 
No, I agree. You, it, it was it was it was worth the sixty bucks for me personally. Mm -hmm. What's the matter with you? I didn't even do DLC. Yeah, I, I think the time for DLC has passed. How to hire mercenaries? On the other hand, uh, no. we might get a remake for this game or or uh, FE4. You saw those, uh, since the leakers were right, there's a lot of people who think we're getting an FE4 remake now, which I'm really hoping for personally. I tend to, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I tend to be like extremely cynical with anything leak related. Uh, so yeah, but, pretty much. But they were right on the, on the, on the, on, on Alir though. On the... Okay, be that as it may. <laughs> Come on. We'll like, together. I mean, I I pretty much only ever trust official announcements, and even then, I, I, okay. I'll also I'll also say this right now. Like, I'm kind of staying as blind as possible to the mm -hmm. stuff and engage, because I don't really want to draw any hasty conclusions about it. Fair. Um, I also, admittedly, I'm just avoiding story spoilers. So I think I'm just gonna like when the game comes out, I'll play it mm -hmm. and I'll learn about it, and I'm confident enough in my Fire Emblem skills that. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to like play the game reasonably and learn its mechanics intelligently when it comes out. <laughs> You're going to be remaining ignorant. Yeah, I'm going to be remaining ignorant. I mean, so the way I see it is like, you know, I, I feel like as far as information earned per hour of effort spent, Mm -hmm. I could probably get more efficient results by like actually playing the game. Mm -hmm. And then living your um, life before that. Yeah, and, you know, just <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Living my life before, as opposed to you know mm -hmm. speculating as to what this one piece of UI in a language I can't read means. <laughs> so. I think that's fair. I haven't personally been looking into it too much. Like I'll, I'll watch every new reveal for a bit, and um, mm -hmm. but I never feel like whenever a new like character is revealed, there's some people making like ten plus minute videos about like ten minutes of footage, and like no shame on them. Like if you want to, you know, get your views that way, I understand yeah. that because it's important. And if you enjoy it, by all means, keep doing it. But I personally feel and like I'm just stretching very thinly by doing that. So what I'm probably going to do on that is at some point collect like all the info we have, make like mm -hmm. one video talking about what I know and think I know for a bit. Uh, but like all the super elaborate analysis, every little, every frame, every pixel of those videos has been analyzed like very thoroughly already. So I feel like I've, I'm adding very little to the conversation by making a video. Do you think? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Maybe uh, an interesting thing could be like right before Engage releases. Just like kind of a video with like a summary of all your thoughts, and then right after you're done with Engage, you can go back and say like, mm -hmm. "Here's where you know, yeah, I thought I was right. Here's where I thought I was wrong." Something Maybe. like that is probably what I want to do. Um, mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, I don't want to super deeply analyze everything because again, I think people have already done a better job of, of doing that than I have. So even if I give a pretty good summary, it's like, it, I feel like it adds very little. But I'll give my thoughts at some point for sure. Yeah, you got a good point with that too. Mm -hmm. Emblem less as much as possible. Oh, that's that's going to be difficult on your first yeah. playthrough, but uh, you know, I, I'll probably just, I'll just my first playthrough. My rule is usually just go all in with whatever I got. If it's broken, I'll still use it just because it's funny, and I can always yeah. do challenge runs later. Like you can only play a game blind once, so just try it out. And like I my three, I think I still have my first three houses uh, file for like my very first Gold Deer playthrough, and every mm -hmm. character was so unoptimized and terrible. I actually want to like do like a video. I threw like through, I threw like so many unnecessary likes in there. Jesus Christ! Anyway, every character was so unoptimized and bad. I had like the most awful skill comp configurations ever. Uh, I've only yeah, had experience I mean, once. It's it's the same way. Uh, whenever I play my own Fire Emblem games, or whenever I play, like I I think I got to the end of my very first three houses playthrough, and like Felix still didn't have a battalion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought I got. I was a... like, look at his personal. It must be good. <laughs> I think I got. I thought I got there late when I gave him one like halfway through part two or something. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, maybe I, you should have I, a battalion. Just, He's never dodging anything. I just never had one on him. I had a like, you know mortal savant battalion with Felix. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. I think when I play a new Fire Emblem game, you know, my goal my my goal isn't to have this like uh, super cool and interesting challenge run. It's like let's just you know play the game, mm -hmm. like, get some experience with the mechanics. And then once I know, you know, what's good and what isn't, what's strong, what's like interesting for a challenge run, right? Then, you know, you could go like, yeah, th then you can go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a, uh, it, it kind of reminds me, I think my very first playthrough of Awakening, like I just hated it. Like, I just mm -hmm. hated Awakening, my very first playthrough. 
And then my buddy is like, well, yeah, because you're not getting any supports. You're not like getting any child units. You're not doing any of this. And I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to, you know, play this game, but I'm actually going to care about the relationships between characters. And then I loved it. Go figure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. You I actually gotta, had a good time. You could have got to, if you excuse the pun, engage with the game's mechanics to get the most out of them for sure. Ah, ha, ha, ha. No, it's mm -hmm. true, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, to and like, who, sorry, I got a question okay. from Chad. What difficulty do you guys generally pick for a brand new Fire Emblem game? For Three Houses, it was pretty clear that difficulty to pick was hard because there was only two options and normal looked really easy. And even mm -hmm. if Maniac or Maddening was available in the first playthrough, I wouldn't have picked it because it's so insane and requires a lot of foreknowledge. So the difficulty that's most like hard is what I usually try to go for. And I don't think there's any information difficulties in Engage, but... I think we'll be able to pick something like hard again. I think they know what they're doing at this point with the difficulty settings. Not that they're yeah. excellent or anything, but hard is fine for first playthrough. I um, I generally pick the highest difficulty that doesn't have a quirky name. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so same you know, thing. If there's of. like, yeah, if there's like normal hard and lunatic, I'm like, well, I'm just go hard. Mm -hmm. Um, play through this, and because the way I see it, I think the first playthrough is more about. You know, it's not even about learning what is good and what is weak. It's just about learning, you know, wh what do the mechanics actually do? Like, literally, mm -hmm. just matter of fact, what do they do? Yeah. And then, because I, I think getting... It, it, it's just generally how I play video games and how I play new video games is I don't worry about what the game wants me to do or I don't worry about what I think is strong or what is weak. I just yeah build up some game knowledge first and then I make those kinds of decisions, so... Yeah, and like, there's no reason to go with Super Death in your first playthrough to flex. There's no point in mm -hmm. it. You're probably just going to be frustrated, yeah. especially for me, because if I'm playing it on the channel, I also just don't want to have to reset a lot on screen. Like, I want to be mm -hmm. able to up, like, record the videos, not have to edit them too much, if at all. Just upload them as mm -hmm. they are. So there's like a time constraint for me as well. And on normal, I risk getting bored, usually. And thankfully, Fire Emblem has been fairly good lately about giving descriptors to the... To the Difficulty settings, so it's not just normal hard lunatic, but it's like okay, normal for series beginners, hard for series veterans who are new to this game, lunatic for yeah. people who just want to tear their hair out. They kind of yeah. put it like that. Lunatic for people who like know this this particular game well, and that's kind yeah. of like something to stress because uh, so some people are like, oh, if you've never played this game before and do a lunatic playthrough, then like you're gonna have a really hard time on such and such chapter. It's like, well, yeah, it says right there, and like in the difficulty, there are, there are people who can do that, but there's, there are very few, they're far and few between. Yeah. I, I know Rangor when Three Houses came out, he didn't have a Switch. I think he still doesn't have a Switch. And emulation was like not ready yet. Like nowadays you can Nintendo PC or Three Houses with a good enough computer, but back then mm -hmm. it's kind of hard. Um, Rangor played Three Houses off of spreadsheets and just numbers. He's like, all right, this build is really good because he get the numbers done. Because he just had like all the information that was in the game. He just didn't have the game itself. And it turned out all of his, all of his builds were good. So wow. you can play the game without playing the game and get familiar with it, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I just recommend getting the game if you want the game. Yeah, if you want like a fundamental level, you know, like a, let me just find the stat benchmarks that I need to meet and mm -hmm. figure out how to do it. But oh yeah, this, uh, the game runs better on PC than on Switch. I believe it. I've, I think I've seen someone post prologue in 60 FPS of three houses. It's so much better than the game. So great. There was another, um, this is kind of topical, I guess. Uh, someone asked, oh, Davis asks, did you enjoy Three Houses off the first playthrough? First playthrough was really good for me. Seems like a good first play sort of game, but over time the whole show up. That's exactly what happened for most people, I think. And with Three Houses, that happens very much so because the game is kind of incentivizing you to play multiple times, but then it feels really bad to play multiple times because it already has so much repetition, so much dead time, and then to do that three or four times it really burned a lot of people out on three houses, including me. I couldn't play that game straight for a while. I still did yeah. because I'm insane and I played like the Balat solo and everything after I already finished all three routes. But goddamn, it I, was tedious as hell. What about you? I really I really enjoy replaying it, yeah. But I think when I first got it, like I got it in like January of twenty twenty. And I like played the hell out of it. And like I played through Azure Moon and then I played through Crimson Flower. And then I like played through some of Verdant Wind on uh, hard mode. And then it was like February, so like I did all that in one month, and I kept on like trying to still play Three Houses. And I think by the time I got done with like Verdant Wind Maddening, I was like, like I've played this game, I've done three playthroughs of this game in two months. I need to just like chill <laughs> and do something. Like even even if even if it's something you really love, and I do still really love Three Houses. Like I still play it today, and I still do run-throughs of it today. But like 
you know, even if it's something you really love, you do have to like take a break from it. So that yeah, it can sure. you can come back and it still be fresh. Yeah, I actually I did take a long break from Three Houses uh, semi recently. I guess this year would be the way to put it. And then mm -hmm. I got another playthrough going where the DLC was on sale, so I bought the DLC and I started playing for basically just to try out the DLC characters. I think I've mentioned this before, and uh, my Discord tag right now is like uh, Revelations is better than Three Houses Part Two, even though I haven't played Revelations in at least as long. But Three Houses Part Two still makes me miserable because everything in that game just kind of goes boring and dull and everything for me right now. Like it's so tedious to play. It's I can't even describe it. Even the new units don't make it fun for me. I don't like Part Two and Three Houses anymore. It's so cringe. I mean, at least the way I see it, like you have so many move tools that mm. at least it's over quick, right? <laughs> so mm -hmm. at least that it is. But but hey, that's okay because we don't have to play three houses anymore. Instead, we can wait for engage, or we can look at our amazing turn counts. I think we still have like this is a long ass post game scene. I think we still have like unit endings to go, or what was it? Not yeah, the uh, the top the something. High score yeah. list. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. The, the kills. There we go. I'm assuming uh, people who got killed don't count. Yeah. The, mm. We get to see the deaths, so no. Oh, look, oh right, but, I forgot this game has Bex, so we have the, all these amazing turn counts here. Yeah, oh. we're... Woohoo! Yeah, low we're, turn count. Like, Wait, which, which map took the longest? What do you think? Uh... 17? There was a, there was a <laughs> one where we... Like, okay. <laughs> which one, though? Like, I, I don't think there was a map where we really lingered. Uh, you 16, know. kind of. There was like one map where we took like longer than Bex limit, I think. I'm, I'm trying to remember what it was. Like, I can't I think don't know. of it. We though. never. Endgame. We, we Endgame. never really lingered. Endgame. Endgame. Besides, uh, besides 17. Endgame was like what? 11 turn? Oh, okay, we did. We could. We did kind of linger because of the dragon fantasy that you had. But <laughs> you make it sound so gross. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound way worse than it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you could have said Joe Fantasy and it would have been better. <laughs> okay, who do you think I is number one? Who do you think is number one? Our Ike is good, but is he number one? I is think he Boyd number is one? number one, personally. Boyd, it's gotta, come, it's gotta be Boyd. There's no way. Well, Boyd one, Ike two? Are we going for that one? Boyd, num number one, gotta be Boyd. Boyd, uh, so everyone put it in the chat, by the way. What do you think? Um, it's a. Uh, oh, I died. think Shinon is top 10. That's what I give him. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think, uh, who else is there? Titania, probably three? Who's the first unit with one kill? Oh, I'm watching the stream though, so I got delay. <laughs> I see a bunch of. Wow, how does Renolf have no kills? That's. Uh, odd. one one kill. I'm gonna give it to Gaytree. I think Gaytree is gonna I think be the first unit with one, one kill. kill. Oh! Bethany. I think Bethany. a lot of units were used to getting one kill somewhere just to show them off, you know what I mean? Like to show their animations yeah. off or anything. Uh, so there's gonna Khalil. be a lot of these. Okay. Yeah, Getri has like he, he did work in Chapter Eight. Remember, he fought a lot of people, and like oh, he true. exists yeah, like right. in a lot of ways where he can get more kills. He's kind of safe. Yo, Anna has two wins. That's what the hell. What? The fact that I can't remember these says a lot. It's probably the, Rolf uh, has more wins than Mordecai. <laughs> get wrecked, friends. Morum. We we use Morum a lot. Remember training like, Astrid? So Astrid oh, got yeah. to level seven with six wins. <laughs> Kieran got to level fifty with seven wins. How does Kieran only have seven wins? I I tried like, to use him. I got to level fifteen of all things. Oh, do uh, do Leith's kills on the one map count or no? I don't think so, because Mordecai only had four. Then again, Mordecai was, yeah, twelve wins for Gatry. There yeah. we go. M Mordecai had bad gauge uh -huh. for a while though. Uh -huh. Stefan with the ten wins. I'm gonna pause it before I get to the top ten. Hold up. So, okay, we're already getting here. Why did Largo? I did mm -hmm. Bex, but a bit. Yeah, I think I want to get to the top five for myself personally. So I think one is Boyd, two is Ike, mm -hmm. or is two Titania. I think it's Titania. No. Nah. Yeah, wait, really? We, yeah, we, we kind of used Titania a lot early like... game, whereas Ike only got good, good like very late game, right? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna say Boyd, Ike. Lot. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go with Ike as well. Titania, four. Is Jill? Is Jill four? Jill's bad. No way but Jill's we could use her four. Uh, but she didn't it wasn't Soren though. Soren, he did get good at some point, but there was a point in the game what where about... we just barely did combat with him, so I feel like it's not Soren. Oscar? What about Oscar? I think it might be. I think it's Oscar. And this is like, there's no way it's hard. <laughs> uh, I'm saying Boyd, Ike, Titania, Oscar, Jill, that order. 
I think that's my order as well. I want to do something different though, just to be like different. Okay, I'm gonna put. Well, it sucks uh, to be slower than me, I guess. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> All right, we'll put. Uh, I'll put. I'll do Soren and then Oscar. I know I'm wrong, but it's fine. I don't think Shinana is top five, unfortunately. No. Nah, uh... Even though it was around early game, technically. All right, see it. Well, Oscar. Oh, is number, Oscar. Oh, we're number both six? wrong there. Okay. He so was six. So Soren is five then, or four. I don't, I don't think I've seen Soren yet. Soren's on there, maybe? Damn. Yeah. Soren and. Who else then? How How is it Jill Soren? Then, right? Oh, there's Jill. It's five. Jill. five. Okay, there's Jill. Okay. Soren four. All right. Soren fourth. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're all wrong there. Ike is third. Ike is third. So okay. Tina's second? Yep. You had the top yep. three exactly correct. No, so. I didn't. I, I had to take on third. He's, oh, true, true, true. Okay. And Boyd oh, is Boyd, first. That's right. Boyd Epic first. Transfers. <laughs> yeah, all these people <laughs> have transfers. I think all these uh, all these five. Mm -hmm. Coincidence? I think not. Quick transfers. Wait, didn't he get 20? Did, did Sora not make it to 20? I, I, I didn't see. I hope he did. I don't remember. I know you sleep like twice, but I think I. Oh, he might have been 19. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot to get into 20. <laughs> no. <laughs> no transfers for Soren. I just. We like, could have done it. I didn't think just had mend on him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know mean, I can see Boyd's level, enough. but I'm asking about Soren. We play endgame for Soren transfers. We're not going to play yeah. endgame for Joffrey transfers. Jeez. Jeez. Just yeah, feed no, every kill that. kill to Joffrey instead. <laughs> Soren is a bad boy after all. But that was really fun. Mecca, what did you think of Ignorance? Because I don't think we've gone it's... over. I mean, like... Okay. Someone posted a comment. I'll answer your question, don't worry. Someone posted a comment. Mecca, you're just doing this to get good footage. Because now you don't longer, you no longer see the, the combat or anything, so you don't have to like check everything. So you just get really smooth footage, right? Where it's constant action, basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's really weird to not check numbers in a numbers game. To not do strategy like you're just kind of thinking can this unit do that and then if you don't you just hold them back but then you lose out on like some aggression potentially you could have had which in this game there was like a point in the game where you just like you basically don't die any deaths you have are from com like complacence or just being memes i guess like lucia <laughs> uh, or like oh this unit does move after all cringe rip mist i guess rip. Uh, or tormod oh shit this is a bonnet actually that kind of yeah. death are is funny to me like that the end game Toronto death was hysterical to me that kind of stuff happens a lot or it happens when you don't pay attention in normal fire Emblem, or when you play this mode and both of those are very funny to me I think Radiant Dawn is going to be better and worse in some ways like I think I'm gonna have to like really hide behind someone like Soth every now and then in Radiant Dawn and that might make it a little bit less entertaining than this game where this game is like ah you can probably do it and you just go ahead and then suddenly you see like oh yes a night killer I'm about to die you know, it's it's exciting. It's it's always yeah. exciting, no matter what you're doing, unless you're literally like slow playing super hard. It's almost always exciting to see like, oh, is this guy going to survive or not? Like, how much damage are they actually doing? And it's it's also just fun to go. I have no idea. Let's find out. You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> just put him in there. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I will say with Radiant Dawn, uh, one thing that does change things a bit is the three times effectiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But I mean, if you probably know where all the worm slayers and horses layers are, then you know. I know some. I know some of them. I know, like, for example, in 3 them. 4, there's a Worm Slayer Swordmaster near the top. I know in 3 7, there's one somewhere. So I think that actually makes Ignorance better, though, to play, is if you know that these enemies are out there. You're just not, you kind of sure where they are, but not exactly. Whereas if you get yeah. completely by surprise, your units just die, and units dying is not just like fun if it keeps <laughs> happening. Dies. Yeah. I do wonder like, if um, you, how many Permanents I will get, because the ones I got in here are pretty much all just me throwing rather than like a real. Well, there was like. Trying to I find think a different Tenneth, we just Ten yeah. Tenneth was Tenneth us, was like, like a boredom kind of death. It's like okay, I put it in the middle of a bunch of tigers, but yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, shit. I guess I thought by Tenneth, it. it's been fun. I do know games of that. Uh, one of my favorites. I know we like discussed doing when we thought about doing ignorance. We discussed FE8, but you're mm -hmm. like, I just know that game too well for that. Um, yeah. Also, FE8 is it's. I don't know if it's easier than than Radiant Path of Radiance, but it's less exciting in a way because I think yeah. that the. the the potential for memeing in FE8 involves a lot more kill feeding scringe units, whereas in FE9, I think most units you can backspin them up and make them good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, those are things. Like, 
yeah, FE8 is kind of predictable what happens. Mm -hmm. I, I, any, any game with three times effectiveness and reavers is going to be like really fun for that. Mm -hmm. so. I, I do think it's uh, one drawback of ignorance, I think, is it makes it so much harder to train bat units because mm -hmm. setting up a kill for them is so difficult when you have to like get an enemy down to like zero single digit HP, but you don't have to, you, you can't kill them because then you can't feed the kill. But mm -hmm. some units are like kind of competent at doing that, I guess. But it was definitely an issue with feeding some units. For sure. Well, that was a fun playthrough. It was fun, um, but I think we can round it out here. I think there's nothing left for credits. Is there another excuse to keep talking? I think this is kind of it. Yeah, this is kind of it. This is it. There we go. That was it. Well, one more time. Uh, thanks everyone for coming out to watch. Thanks everyone for your support, your viewership, and your loyalty. And I will not carry over death, no. And I will so also stop answering questions because I keep getting sidetracked. <laughs> Thank you yeah. all for watching. <laughs> Thank you all for sticking around. Thanks, Raisins, again for joining me. And uh, for I'll sure. see you some other time. Later. See you some other time. Uh, I will be starting my stream now. So Oh, know, yes, we need to raid you. We need to raid Raisins. Plug, but... All right, yes, twitch.tv me... slash... I'll just spin your comment if you pop a comment in in chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Original reasons. I am playing. Hold on, let me make sure I updated this. I am currently playing zero percent Iron Man. Of Radiant Dawn. So Twitch.tv slash yeah of, of Radiant Dawn. That is a that is a good game. So uh, that's just the playthrough I'm going through right now. We are about partway through midway through part three. So if you're trying to avoid Radiant Dawn spoilers, then you know uh, I totally understand if you choose not to come on the raid. Uh, but Oops. that's what I'm doing right now. So. Uh, I hope to see many of you there. It's going to be like maybe five to ten-ish minutes before I actually start. Um, but we'll be there. Yes. Okay, hopefully this our URL will work. Mm -hmm. okay, I think it will. Replace pinned message. Let's see the URL works. Surprise raisins. Say you're say you're from from Mecca stream. He won't expect it. Whoa. I know. I'll never know. <laughs> raisins does have the best going live intro screen. It's way better than mine. Oh yeah. It's very scuffed, so I, but it's I, very funny. I just found like seven-ish gifts on my computer and so I just put them in there. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. But all right. Bye everyone. Peace. Bye everyone. See Loved you having you in here. Peace out. See you.